To truly know a city, we must know who believes in it, who invests in it, who has a stake in its future. This is Detroit. It is a city where something quite remarkable is taking place, something unique in the history of cities. For here on these 33 acres of riverfront property, Detroit State of Mind is on the air! Bringing you the sounds of Detroit's underground, straight to your ear holes, rock, punk, and metal. If it's Detroit, you'll hear it here. Unless you're a dick. dick. And now, your overlords, Rich and Dave. State of mind is on the air. <laughs> yes, it is. Episode 54. We got EKG in the house and What's Chris up, boys? and what, Glencoe. Wait, wait, wait. I got back to fuck up. We got a special guest host, Chris Brackney, Glencoe in the house. Uh, welcome. What up? And now we can talk to you guys. All right. <laughs> I actually saw your live set at the uh, yeah, fucking. Yeah, we played a show together. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. So you guys yeah, go because in bands go together so well. Yeah, right. No, we played no, so like solo set. Those yeah. are my favorite kind of shows. Yeah, though. there's an uh, Max Green used to do an acoustic oh, like yeah. thing at Trixie's. Oh, Trixie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You were, yeah. We also would... played together though at Homebum. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, Shout no out shit. to Max. What's up, man? That was like the. Oh my god, I had a flat tire. I was like so distracted that night. That because... fucking day when your wheel fucking. <laughs> yeah, I snapped a lug nut off my car and had to leave it there overnight. At home? <laughs> For yeah, one lug know, nut, like... you left your car. Yeah, well, I was. <laughs> Fuck! I've ran them on two, risk. boy. I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> Not scared. <laughs> it wobbled a little, but it'll get you there. <laughs> I had no wheel bearing once, and it was horrible. I drove with them <sighs> on my like one nut. You had no bearing at all. No, I had the bearing, but the two two of the three nuts were gone. Oh. So it was when I was driving, it was I drove without coolant or oil, and the shagging wagon still rides, baby. So no, it doesn't. It sits in a driveway. Because I don't have brakes. But I'm gonna whatever. turn them up a little bit. I don't have brakes. Yo, Stopping's important. <laughs> but then again, brakes yeah. only slow you down. Right? Is that master it? shake on your arm? That's badass. Well, yeah, I got master wait, shake. Wait. The Carl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? I'm going to be shitting blood over here. I'm going to name him Spaghetti. <laughs> our dad has hand banana. Yeah, I got a dog. His name's Hand Banana. Yeah, our dad has him on his hand. The only words <laughs> I know are even dog, mean? good boy. <laughs> you never watched Aqua great. Teen Hunger Force? No, I have not. Oh, dude. Oh, that's one of the greatest things ever, ever, man. Are we yeah. too quiet now? Yeah. I, don't I know. can hear you guys pretty you good. You sound good. Okay. okay. All right. Go around the table. Tell us who you are. We know who you are. We'll say it again. <laughs> I am Keith. I play guitar. I'm Josh. I play bass. And he's a bitch. I'm Jake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Richard, and I'm the talent. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you're not playing drums anymore. Might smell another breakup after they're done with the show? Got it. Is that, is that something that happened? Well, die, but not break It's happened up. twice. Twice. 
Oh God! <laughs> two people got record deals. And well, the one two band's, band's back, up. but they're a three piece now. Well, luckily oh, for yeah, us, we right. shut down venues instead of uh, yeah, yeah. Band, so. We're usually the band that uh, sees the other band's demise. Honestly, <laughs> we're like cockroaches. You can't get rid. Of we don't die. We just keep going. So, I mean, that's what happens when you're an alcoholic and you got nothing to do with your time. I'm like <laughs> the third bass player. So yeah. He's like the eighth drummer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me and Keith are the only two original members left. Party a little too hard, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Where'd but you, you got the twin, ed, twin action yeah, now. now. I actually, this is probably like the best lineup we've had ever. So if one of you quits, the other goes with him? Oh, God, I'll fucking kill him if they try well, to quit. <laughs> I'm not letting him quit. This asshole like, forced me to join EKG after the drummer passed. Rest in peace, Rob. Um, They're playing a show, and he's like, yeah, this asshole might play drums for us. I'm like, fuck, now I have to. <laughs> he was always going to. We yeah. love you so much. Aww. Uh, you Coming from a bunny, I'd be scared as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him naked. I'm not worried about that shit. You want some candy? <laughs> it, it ain't going to hurt anyway, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but it's literally just, just a prick. Did I just fart? Are you in there? A little bit of spit. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to tag you guys in some shit a couple weeks ago, and I didn't realize your guys' na full name was Evil Killing Good. Let's not talk about this. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so I, I want to talk about this. That is a name that <laughs> is Juggalos made up. Yeah, right. some Juggalos named us that. That's the unofficial. I, I came up with that. Actually. Did you? Okay, so that's where it came from. That makes sense. The actual unofficial name is. <laughs> we don't have a gay. meaning. Actually. Everyone's kind of gay. <laughs> I, just came up with the name I always thought it stood for echocardiogram. Cool. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, wearing one of our seat. shirts and someone asked if I worked in the medical field because it said EKG and drugs. I was like, no, no, <laughs> that's not what this is. Usually I do drugs, then need the EKG. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's how the world works. Well, yeah, like we uh, we couldn't agree on a name. And then Keith was like EKG and we we're like, yeah, whatever. It didn't stand for shit. And then what was it? We were trying to get on a show and someone was asking us what it stood for or something. And then you came up with that. And There's then about 10 different names uh favorite one is that uh, everyone's kind of gay yeah yeah that's the uh <laughs> that's the fan made name yeah we didn't even make that up so yeah went up to him, he's like dude you know what ekg stands for was decker he's like everyone's kind of gay I'm like what i thought it was funny so i went up to other people like yo you know what ekg stands for like yeah everyone's kind of gay I'm like how many people know i mean they're not wrong, <laughs> all of them but none of us did <laughs> we didn't know eggs eggs kegels grand it's like sometimes you just hit the nail on the head i guess <laughs> yeah so you guys don't even go by the evil killing good at all? No, no, no. no that was, well, it's uh, your Facebook fucking page. <laughs> I just threw it up there because you know it said fill something in. And I'm just, well, if you put the other thing on there, you're gonna get banned from Facebook. <laughs> it says evil killing good on Facebook. I've never actually. It does, tagged. yeah. It does. Because oh. again, I tried to tag you guys and I couldn't find you, so I had to actually like troll and find the page, and I saw it in the uh, like the URL. No shit. There's I like a techno band or something. You know more about my Colorado, band than I do. Fuck. Yes, I do. There's a rapper named EKG, <laughs> too. There's yeah. what? There's a rapper named EKG, yeah. too. And, uh, really? Yeah. Dubstep artist. If you look up it. EKG on Bandcamp and uh, Spotify, there's like a, there's a lot of different EKGs. Really? Yeah. So you ever yeah. thought about changing the name then? No, honestly, no. fuck them. <laughs> We're better than they are. They should change we'll their name. <laughs> sue us. And then sue we'll us. We don't yeah. have money, so you're going to lose anyway. Well, I mean, eventually when we're going to get a comes lawsuit. Looking for us, yeah, we're really, you can't paper. get blood from a stone anyway, right? You know, if anything, we're just stealing press. their fans, because they're probably yeah. looking those guys up and then finding us. I'm like, okay, whatever. What's this offensive? And there's no such thing as bad press, man. Yeah. Exactly. True. You know what? Sue me. <laughs> Sue me for anything, please. We've been challenging the Dead Boys for a while now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not like, Dead Boys ripped us off. Fuck you. <laughs> well, they probably need the money, too. Yeah, at this point, right? Oh, my God. Is Ralph that point that I was like, dude, that's Sonic Producer? Like, is I it? mean, like, I oh, knew it, it was Sonic Producer when I wrote the song, but it's fuck it. Like, I was pissed. and I So somebody took your song? Yeah. Yeah. So we make the joke. <laughs> the Dead Boys took our song. We make the joke that <laughs> well, Dead Boys ripped us off <laughs> because... Uh, we have that song, Fuck Song, which is, I mean, it's honestly, just nice. a fucking rip off of Sonic Reducer. It does sound like it. It is. I, I, like, I did yeah. notice that earlier. Well, so that's the point, right? Is it's just kind of like a fuck you song. I don't give a shit. Fuck everything. And it even says, like, fuck this song. I ripped it off because I don't give a shit. Fuck it. Right. I was pissed when I wrote that song. I didn't fucking give a shit if I sounded like the Dead Boys. Did you guys actually get a letter from the Dead Boys? No. Oh, no. Oh. thank God. I feel like I'd frame that bitch, dude. Yeah, no. Us, Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'd fucking... Post that on everything. Fucking make shorts out of it. That'd be our claim right? to fame right there. <laughs> and then you just break up. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, break up, rename. Be like, this song is a, a tribute to the Dead Boys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
When we were the neck bones, we got hit by the neck bones. Really? Yeah, that, they actually threatened to sue us. Threatened to sue us. No, yeah. no shit. Didn't uh, Danzig threaten to sue Negative Approach over? They showed like a Misfits clip in one of the tied down DVDs or some shit like that. Misfits like, we're broke. We need this. Shit. Yeah. And I guess like Glenn Danzig was not happy about that. He's a First douche. of all, fuck him. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> you know, they, they stole the Crimson Ghost logo anyway. Yeah. Did they really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah, a horror yeah. movie, wasn't it? No, it was, it was like, like it was TV a detective show. shorts from like the 20s and 30s. Oh, no, oh, shit. no shit. Yeah, they were like, remember the cliffhangers? You've heard of those? Yeah. Like they show them before a movie. It'd be like a yeah, yeah. 15 minute and leave you hanging. So you had to come back to the movies next week or whatnot. Well, he was a detective who wore this skeleton mask. No. Oh. So that's where that's where that came from. I it's called the Crimson Ghost. Too. You learn something every day and forget it the next day. <laughs> and then you really relearn it again here yeah. on Detroit State of Mind, episode fifty four. <laughs> yeah, that thing over there. That's like the coolest mask I ever bought, I think. No, it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty hip. Don't be trying to steal it, man. <laughs> yeah, I heard about you and your meth. Yeah, bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Don't try to steal it, bunny boy. <laughs> He's like, what's the rule of meth around here? I'm like, is that a Gigi Allen fucking stereo. tattoo? I'll ask scum fuck. Oh, I got like a bunch of Gigi shit on my chest. No shit. Yeah, fuck. So did Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> you both also had a lot of hair. He also had gangrene a couple times, too. I'm you both sure you I've, I've never had that. You both shove shit up your Yeah, head. wait for it. <laughs> the fucking guy looked like gangrene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like oh. Marilyn Manson. He's tough I, to look at. <laughs> Did you see that thing where Christian Bale was supposedly going to do a Gigi Allen movie? There's no fucking way. Yeah, I, like, I did. Re- I saw that. I saw it. Yeah. No, this, like, like, this asshole. I'm like, if you're not going to shove a banana up your ass, you're not ready to roll. No, <laughs> we're at a bar. We're seeing some bands play for a benefit. And he brings us up and Richie says, imagine Christian Bale say, expose yourself to kids. You can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy at the bar just heard that and turned around. It's like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? <laughs> like, oh, oops. No, it's out of context, man. <laughs> you're taking I the wrong pro- way. You're like, too. no, that's just Gigi Allen, man. And then the guy really kicks your yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah. Right. You could have made it worse. It's 2022, bro. <laughs> oh. It's yeah, okay no. in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fucking for real. You're totally canceled right now. So how long has EKG been around? Seven What's years. What's the history, man? Seven so years. give us the four one one. All right, so here's a little backstory. So long ago, there was this band called SGS. I was in. We broke up. I'm not. What I does SGS stand for? Skeevy Goiter Stabbers, uh, <laughs> Satanic Girl Scouts. We had someone's Wait, getting. You stomped. say Satanic Girl Scouts? Oh yeah, we had I a like song. that. That's fucking cool. We had man. a bunch of names for SGS. We kind of like. What was the Skeevy one? Skeevy Goiter Stabbers. <laughs> yeah, those are both fucking great. The, so, the, the first record's called Lancer. So, uh, <laughs> part one. That band yeah. breaks up, Movement. and then. Um, <laughs> Ralph hits me up like a year or two later and he goes, Hey, you still want to play in a band? And I was like, yeah. And, uh, he hooked me up with Keith. So it was me, Keith, my ex girlfriend at the time. And then a friend, Josh, and we still SGS. Yeah. It was like basically three fourths of SGS with one of death in custody. That's actually the original name of EKG three fourths SGS with a dash of death in custody. Is that, what, is that what all bands in Detroit do? Just share band members? Yeah, Pretty fucking I mean, much, dude. Like, like, <laughs> I played in a couple different bands, like just even just filling in. I played with UDI ones to fill in for bass. Is that your guy's father? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mac, well, Larissa's dad was telling me yeah, about oh, this Mac, the other day. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Shout I, out to Mac. Shout out to yeah, Mac. I love you, Mac. I'm not trying to be a dick. Well, it says here, Mac. famous dad. I've never heard of UDI <laughs> before uh, the other day. Oh, don't be a dick. They never fucking play. I'm... <laughs> I love them. I, I did not know this. They they're one of my favorite uh, local bands. I uh, saw th- I saw the- you like their band more or your band. I like them. we all you know, know he likes their band more. Let's be we are around longer. I I, I love what we do with EKG. I really do. It is uh, one of my favorite things because I write, I write most of the music. But, but like, I don't know. I mean, it's fucking UDI. They're fucking amazing. I love them. They're like. I watched the dude get his teeth knocked out and finish the set. And I still, still have his teeth. Te- I still have his teeth. This is still. their father. Yeah, that's yeah. their father. You have sounds like a their hockey dad's player. teeth. I do have their dad's teeth he does. in the set list in a record, a UDI record. You need to have those around your neck on, <laughs> on a fucking necklace. Well, yeah. they're very like, brittle in a, in a little pink heart. No, yes. why? Yes. So yeah. like they're real brittle <laughs> right now, they're and like they're brittle. turning to dust. And so I'm trying to preserve them. One day I'll clone a mic rat floating around in a jar of lube. 
<laughs> no, not a jar of lube, a jar of cum. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. No, he actually has I them thought a, I was dark, bro. He, he has them in a locket that he wears sometimes. That's pretty he, funny. Yeah. But he's really? Actually, uh, a tattoo artist. He does a lot of tattoos. Yeah. He, did yeah. Uh, he also... Uh, a lot of people in Detroit have his tattoo. Yeah, he also, art for our album. Yeah, he drew the art for the album. The cop killer album, yeah. He made the mistake of not pulling out of my mom. Yeah, yeah. So we have him to thank for that. Yeah, now, now I'm here paying. You know, like, fuck, I made two of them. Yeah, God shit. damn it. No, he says that was, he's like, I planned my kid. And Come like, on, did you kid, bring me one? Not yes, kids. Yes, we did. I brought two. I didn't know there would be three of you, but we have two extra larges for you guys. Fuck Chris. <laughs> he can suck a dick. Extra large? <laughs> extra large. I could have. Good thing I'm losing did, weight. Oh, no, yeah. You probably need two, three X. Two, but. Just cut the belly out, bro. Oh, it's yeah. working. <laughs> Make it a crop top. Yeah, yeah. These are fucking huge. Yeah, that's a big shirt. That's what she said. That's fucking cool, man. <laughs> it's our cholo shirt. Who did that? It's Mike Rat. Dad. Mike Rat. Shout out to Mike Rat. We love you, Mike. UDI. Uh, we're playing with Super Devil the third. What's yeah. that cab mean? Yeah, and A C A B, motherfucker. That's all you know, cats all are cops beautiful. are bastards. All cats are beautiful. If you have never heard that. <laughs> are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all, all cocks are bodacious. I mean, notice, <laughs> notice a gun and a clothes hanger on the baby's neck. It's called. Uh, you, you guys are fucked up. Oh yeah, yeah just one cop dude. Killers. This is the tip of the iceberg. We we uh. Well, we're just getting started here. So yeah. I'm guessing you've all been arrested, huh? Everybody no, yeah, no, I mean, several times. I've been detained. Uh, I did. Uh, never I been arrested. When I was in the army, I always had run-ins with MPs and shit. We because we, we used to get in nasty ass fights all the time for just. Oh, same here. They show up to our barracks with like ten squad cars, like. The Were you guys in the military fun. at the same time? Yeah. yeah. Like the same platoon and like or, uh, no. or, or whatever. At first, no. Then I re when I re-enlisted, I went to a different duty station. We were stationed. So together. I got stuck in fucking South Korea for a year. And then I went to Fort Drum, New York. They actually and met in a POW camp, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Tom where, Maya. Yeah. But uh, he went to 10th Mountain after I went there. And we're in the same brigade. So we just got hammered all the fucking time together. Yeah. And I got, drove to my barracks room fucking drunk. He's like driving. He's like. Rolls on the wrong window. He's like, I shouldn't be driving. Throws his keys out the fucking car. I'm like, yeah. I'm like you think I can drive right now? And then Fuck right off. after my second deployment, we just got back from Afghanistan. And one of my soldiers got way too drunk and tried fighting everyone. We all knocked him out. Like, I'm telling you, like, he got knocked out 30 fucking times. Yeah, but he's drunk and he slurs Wait. like a bitch. He's like, now he talks like my I'm not like, I, I knocked, <laughs> like, I knocked my boy's eye I'm the greatest. out. I'm like, what, you not? No, you lost an eye? He's like, what no, I knocked my guy out. I called him like, dude, I need to go to the hospital because we had to send him to the hospital because he kicked out a window. And uh, I called Jake like, I need to go to Samaritan. He's like, why? I'm like, yeah, well, I'll tell you later. Because I was hammered. And my platoon starts like, you got to go with him. I'm like, fuck. So I'm in the hospital drinking coffee, just hammered, just like splashing water in my face. I'm like, I'm going to beat this guy's ass when I see him. I walk in there. He's just crying. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> that, now I can't. We would knock him out. And, you know, when people get knocked out, they wake up like, ugh. Like, what happened? Not him. Do that. Like, ah! like, like, I know guys like that. like raging bull, dude. Yeah, yeah, but he got his but ass dude, this guy's so like, many fucking times. He's like five two and weighs a hundred pounds. Like I kind of felt bad punching him. raging like, calf. Like, then so you guys are in the navy? No, yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> no, he was. I mean, he was a seaman, right? No, I'm not smart no, enough he to join. A seaman. He's a seaman demon. I can't join the air force or navy. Dude took the joke right out of my mouth. <laughs> I, I didn't score high enough in my test to score uh, join the Air Force. Yeah, Josh Navy. got disqualified from Air Force Navy Coast Guard, so and he got grandfathered in the fucking army because they changed the fucking score. He just called you stupid. No, no, I, no, I didn't. He thought, this asshole, I'm like, he's talking shit. I'm like, oh, you're tough, spelled T U F F. He's like, that's how you spell it, bro. I'm like, no, that's not how you spell. That's it. how the tough guys spell Sorry, it. Sorry, T U P H. Yeah, I thought it was. No, I I explained to him. He's like, no, that's though. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I was an infantryman. We're not the smartest bunch on the planet. Like, You're the most important, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. only job he qualified for. We got the biggest thing. Thing. I'll give you that. Okay, what's what's this uh, Richie's mental institutionalization? Oof. Oh, I uh, used to call the psych ward my home away from home. Depression is a real fun thing, you know. I wrote a lot of the song. I actually have a song, uh, Go For A Ride, that I wrote in a psych ward. A fan favorite, too. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a huge fan. A lot of people like it. The, uh, like the place in New Baltimore? What? What the hell's the name of that place? Harbor Oaks? Oh no, we I went to fucking like Havenwick. I've been to U of M. I've been to a few places. I uh really went through like a huge bout with like depression for a good chunk of my life. And like it can be scary, man. No, no it, yeah, it's it fucked scary. up. And like, you know, 
I always felt like super alone and shit, and like it's hard for me to connect with people and like really dressed like a fucking bunny. Yeah, yeah, is nobody wants a bunny <laughs> outfit. <laughs> well, so like really, nobody wants bunnies. to sit next to a Sasquatch in a bunny outfit. I'm telling you right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, and I am right now. <laughs> Do you like a sweater? Yeah. <laughs> Which one? The pink one or the brown one? The brown yeah. one. It's got a merkin. Just so you know, it smells like a semen. So the brown it's one has got the, the stains one? on it. Both, both of them. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, I don't know. A lot of uh, a lot of the stuff I write about is uh, it's fucked up because I have like a real fucked up sense of humor. But it also is like, well, you're in the right place. Yeah. I also uh, yeah. welcome. It's about like a deeper like issue. A part of like PCP life is about some dude. That's all. It's about the fucked upness of like how, you know, punks can be and shit and like the self-destructive. Yeah. Lifestyle. Yeah. It's actually like all this shit is us has like a deeper meaning behind it. Do you think punks today are actually like that? I know uh, some there's people. Some, I, I there's know some that are too. still out there that are. Uh, yeah, I know some people that lot, are like. A lot that. of fake shit out there, man. Oh, yeah. Well, like, it's definitely. How many rhinestones can I get in my leather, <laughs> yeah, man? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely. Hey, what's your, uh, what's bro? your, what's your Check uh, out all my patches. <laughs> what's your uh, Gemini thing? I got a tattoo of a dove right here, dude. I'm a badass. <laughs> of a dove it hurts it's, so bad it's holding a twig yo i'll just i know a guy with a tat he was in the army with me it's a dove a banner and a straight razor and it's like it says because i can because people are like why'd you get a neck tattoo he's like because i can bro <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this guy was fucking certified insane though like no joke he's i got like, a big w on each one of my ass cheeks i know a guy wow. who got i have a smaller F face on my ass cheek my friend did i know a guy who got f-i-i-c fucked if i care tattooed across his forehead before he went to uh, court. Nice. And then he woke up three years later and didn't remember getting that tattoo. Stop. No, he, this dude was a hardcore fucking partier. Like, he, Good he lived in that, like, drug world where, like, mm, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know what the fuck happened to him, but, uh, yeah. He, I, I'll never him. forget the day he realized he had a face tattoo. I was like, you didn't fucking know this? Yeah, like you, you don't never look in the mirror to brush your teeth and take a shower long, and how long it takes to heal it's an eccentric birthmark bro oh, oh my head that she uh. yeah i popped out with that shit it's better than herpes have you ever thought yeah, about knocking out a tooth so you match your brother better oh, we're yeah. actually thinking <laughs> well, about it so i have the fake tooth what happened is i knocked that shit out i mean no offense your grill is tight I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, mine, oh. mine, mine was. I'm the one in EKG that has all my teeth. But I fucking... Uh, this yeah, guy's fucking bragging. All together, you're one yeah. whole set. Fucking yeah. bragging. The fake tooth came out, whatever. I got fucking hammered, and I put it in. I'm like, oh, I look normal. Bitches love me, and then it fell out. And I lost it. <laughs> well, no, it fell back. Our cousin's wedding. We were grooms. So oh, I took there's... all the pictures. Right before the pictures, his tooth popped Shut out. up. And he goes, no, he goes, he goes that's our so... new cousin. He's like, hey, Amanda, like my tooth fell out. She's like... No, it didn't. He's like, e and it was just gone. And I told him, like, great. There's like a picture of him smiling with a tooth in the no, air. No, there is. There's Does anyone a have a chiclet? He <laughs> put. You should have put a cigarette in there. There's a like, picture. Yeah, I told right. her, like, we took the pictures. I'm like, there's one where I'm smiling with my teeth out. She's like, come on, man. And bam, sure enough, a big ass picture. So you lost it. Lost it. Yeah, it's gone. That'd be funny. Like in the picture, it's just like. Spinning and flying. Yeah, it's in the, the air. No, isn't shit. it in your wallet? <laughs> no, it was in my wallet. And then I got drunk. I'm like, oh, I look normal. I'm not fucking toothless, bro. <laughs> Is it one of those snap in deals? <laughs> no, it was supposed to be permanent. So no, it's army dentistry. It's yeah. Oh right. No, yeah. at first it was. <laughs> army He's dentistry. practicing. It's fine. So it is a chiclet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty fucking. At much. first it was, and then already chewed too. I slept on water at my old job. I worked at pizza place. Some guy who died. That's Knocked his tooth. That <laughs> Here you go. No, it's all three. It's Ron's. What'd you hit your face on? The first time or when I lost it again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> first time, uh, I slipped on a fucking floor when I was drunk, fucking smacked my face against the fucking door, and it broke half a tooth off. Oh, damn. Then we went to a... Well, no, it cracked in my bed. The half tooth off came after. Then we're in a training area. I'm not tall, dude. I'm like five, four and a half. No. So I have my hat on. <laughs> no shit. You Look, might be the tallest one in this band. <laughs> tallest one That's mentality. fucking sad. <laughs> But they're like, get to the fucking trucks with a pad on. You can't see past that. So I like power walked into this fucking 800 pound door, knocked myself out, fucking knocked out the rest of the. You team. knocked yourself out? Yeah, I was loopy. I was like, mm. he was brisky walking. But it would go back. <laughs> Look, gotta, gotta take a shit walk. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, it's, do a prairie dogging, bro. But it would go back in. So I put it back in. I fucking hiccup and swallowed that shit. 
Did you crap it out? No, I don't think so. Oh, that would have been a cool picture. <laughs> I knew a guy we were up deer hunting, the... swallowed his gold tooth, fucking oh. shit in a bucket for a week, <laughs> <laughs> sifting his shit through a fucking strainer. Like, like, 1849 gold. He got miner. that fucker back, dude. I'm out That's there. a $500 tooth. I'm out there in North Dakota. The oh, best God. thing is about those half <laughs> yeah. tooth, right? He's, got the fuck He's panning and shit. <laughs> I had that half tooth. And Did he uh, bite it? The check if it was real. Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. There's I mean, gold in that there How much gold do you have to shit if you have to bite it like you should know that's your tooth right how much yeah. gold are you swallowing that it's there's a shiny poop man think that's that he shiny. picked it out of shit and bit it <laughs> it's 2022 people eat gold now so you never fucking know golden schlager all right we're gonna take a break and place you some ekg and we'll be right back evil killing good This one is by our drummer who passed away. We miss you, Rob. It's called Justified. Bring the vessel, dress the door. You can't stop your second act. Say that yours is the only way. Hot Rod, okay. take it away. I'm Hot Rod. And I'm Bob Banger. I'm L Rod. I'm Tommy T, and you're listening to the Detroit, Detroit State, State of Mind. Mind. Ow! <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. yeah don't, don't go anywhere. How's everybody doing? Right. That was a great song. <laughs> Yeah, woo! What was that called? Fuck something, fuck, fuck? That was, um... ECP Life. It's about drugs. That was... <laughs> it down. Song. That was actually a Sinead O'Connor cover. Yeah. Hey, yeah. so Chris, do you, do you have some questions for uh, EKG? I do. So what year did you guys start? I don't know. I was not in the band. 2016? 15? 15? Yeah, that was... Seven, eight years ago, whatever that is. Yeah. 14? I want to say 15, because, like... EK SGS broke up in 2014 and how long was your I, old band going together? Two years. Two years. I kind of like I, I map things out by X's and bands <laughs> and STDs. And, and that, well, oh. <laughs> speak for yourself, dude. <laughs> Every time one of them loses a tooth. No, because I lo- no, I actually pulled one out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I don't mean to dwell. It's a joke, man. No, I, I mean, I yanked one out on cocaine, so... I, I gotta... Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, well, you At know. least you're getting numbed up. <laughs> hey, America. I mean, it was like falling out. That's what out it was anyway. for to begin with anyway. It was falling out. Tooth yeah, pain. You, you got but, ghosts in your blood. Do some cocaine about it. Yeah, we, um, we've um we been around since 2015, and like, it's been a real rocky road. We've had some members that were definitely like not great. Uh, other than like the lineup we have now, probably our best lineup was when it was a three piece, me, Keith, and a guy Dan. named Dan. Josh. And like I was drumming and singing and fucking I hated that. Like it's like running a marathon and yelling the whole fucking time. <laughs> Isn't it kind of corny for like the drummer to be the singer though, too? It's, Why? It's he not, made it work, honestly. I don't know, man. It yeah, just it like good. like the whole Eagles thing, like 
I, 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 don't, I don't even know Where who the Eagles are. are. You don't know who the Eagles are. I don't. Come on. I don't. You never heard Welcome of Hotel California? Hotel California? Is that the Eagles? Yeah. No, yeah. it's not the. Never mind. It's not the Eagles. <laughs> Lost calls right now. <laughs> no, it was the Peregrine Falcons. Oh, okay. I, you know, I really thought it was Leonard Skinner. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's actually <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with no, you. No, he thought it was Motorhead. <laughs> That's sweaty home, Alabama. <laughs> What in the Kentucky Fried Fuck this shit. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Fuck. <laughs> I'm stealing that, dude. Go yep. ahead. I'm I totally still, fucking stealing that. Every time somebody's like, oh, yeah, like, my cousin. Somebody said some shit. They're like, my cousin, like, if I wasn't my cousin, they're hot. I'm like, dude, what in the Kentucky Fried Fuck? Get the fuck out of my face right <laughs> My cousin's sister, nephew. <laughs> my, buddy sent me a, my buddy sent me a picture today of a couple, and the guy's wearing a shirt says, uh, I met my wife on Ancestry.com. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got a meme of that. It's like uh, some, Daddy Uncle Me. It's like some cartoon. Nepson. It's like some cartoon character and this butterfly is flying away. It's like, is this Tinder that said Ancestry on it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Alabama. My favorite ones is uh, the memes. It's like, my mom named me Crystal. Because your mom loves Crystal. Why am I called a ball? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> so That's then funny. you write most of the songs that you said. I write like... 90% of the lyrics and about like 70% of the guitar parts. Yeah. And you kind of flesh it out. Yeah, right. like... Uh, so keep... basically you are the band. I mean, in a sense... Don't hype up his ego, please. <laughs> yeah. No, they it's just don't... They don't, want to be... they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to hear it. They did write a song, though. Uh, a song. Mockery was oh, like... They yeah. wrote one song. Yeah, and I job, been, guys. I've been in the band for yeah, a year or so. Golf clap for them. <laughs> they need it. Rob it's Amber been a tough year. <laughs> Emotional support. Yeah. Yes. Emotional damage. You know, I'll say this. <laughs> that shit's fucking great. I love he, that. Uh, he cooks for us, so we, we yeah, keep yeah, him around. Yeah, dude, it's not just us. A band called Unabomb on our Instagram we posted of me like cooking. He's like, bass players matter. They cook for us. And the bass player for Unabomb's like, dude, I'm a certified fucking maid. Let's have a cook-off. And so you're we're certified planning forklift, a cook right? off. For, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a certified forklift operator, so just so you guys know. I just, I just. <laughs> so you're not qualified whatsoever. <laughs> no, I am. I have to drive them all the time at work. He's saying that. See, I drive a forklift, but I don't have a license because I'm a bad boy. The reason why I know you. Game guys, license, Lisa. The reason why I know you. Know, <laughs> license, Lisa. You don't call it a high low like everyone else. You call it a forklift. It's a forklift. So you're absolutely. Main, so yo, dude, we, we had this forklift. job. Wait, out. so if you call it a high low, then like you're just like a schlub. Yeah. Oh, someone at my job call it a. That's just elitism. Kind of well, no. Yeah, and, fork truck. Well, here's forklift, a funny story about a fork truck. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be a forklift mechanic. I think it was With a crown? badass matchbox. I walked car. by a forklift one time. <laughs> crown actually offered me a job. Oh yeah, yeah. Who? I went to school. Crown. They make the for, the high lows and forklifts and stuff. Oh, see, you, I went you to said, school to be a plane mechanic originally. Till they make you work on one of them electric pieces of shit. And yeah, then you're fucking angry for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah, it's not hydraulic at all. Just for <laughs> junk. So we have a at my job. Uh, we were working out at a Kroger up in Pickney. We just had to unload material off a truck because it's not till February. But metal's really hard to get rid of. I work in a construction company, so these old motherfucking people out in Pickney. We had our fork with the, the things down. We're about to move it for this old dude trying to turn over. He drove over our forks trying to just get a better parking spot. Like, should have just it lifted up. it up. What a dick. Just, it popped him up. Dude, I mm. we're wearing bright orange vests, hard hats, and everything. I turn around, and there's a car, like, that far away from me. I'm like, you can't see me. You start singing and then they start like, laughing. Fucking knock him out. Did you knock his tooth out? No, they were in a car. Uh, some, I would have. It was some old white lady. <laughs> what are you I guys stole doing? stole it out of his fucking yeah, head. Yeah, there was an old guy in me, Marine shit. City. Were, my brother needs a tooth. I'm going to steal yours, Gramps. <laughs> What's yeah, up, bitch? I'm going to end up with a mower where my We're in the parking lot at the Kmart. You're going to end up with a majestic grill is what you're going to end up with. Shit. And they block the parking lot <laughs> off at each end. <laughs> and all these people are standing around looking at the hot rods and shit. You know, they're doing the fucking. What, in Southgate? or In Marine City. Oh, okay. Doing it, and this fucking old Same guy thing. goes around the barrier and drives right through the middle of all the people. Everybody's, uh, everybody's like, "What the fuck are you doing, man?" And he's all like, "You're fucking in my way!" He's freaking the fuck out. I'm like, "Wow, man, what a the right dick, dude. I was in Nam, you piece of shit. Yeah, it was basically. <laughs> I was it. there when the shit hit the. My friend Heather went right in the fucking song? window after the guy. <laughs> really? Like Heather, stop! I'm gonna <laughs> beat his fucking ass. Like, well, you're gonna learn today, bitch. <laughs> fuck around and find out, motherfucker. Back in my day, construction workers in the Norway. <laughs> we I try to respect cars, old people. Some of them buggies. fucking suck. They just, uh, yeah, I got yelled uh, at. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, work, uh, dude. They, I've almost been ran over a couple times now by dudes. And I'm wearing like, man, I'm wearing bright orange. 
It's because they want to kill you. You ever thought about wearing green? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, orange is not yeah. working out for you, or, man. Or, you know, like blue or something. Like or camo? That. Just wear black at night. <laughs> no camo, they won't see them at all. Or gray to blend with the road. <laughs> right. Yo, dude, do me a favor. I don't want to pay no taxes or anything anymore. I don't want to work. Just kidding. I'm Struggle's not real. It, it, yeah. you can't even live off eBay anymore. Yo, when I, sucking taxes when I die, if I wake, if I'm a ghost and there's ghost jobs, I'm going to fucking lose it. Like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're we want 30 boos a week. Like, or, <laughs> wait, even worse than that, you got ghost tags. We got a 30 and, boo limit. Yeah. <laughs> or minimum. We're taking 10% of your booze each paycheck. <laughs> yeah, dude. God, son man. of a boo. So Damn, I wasted boo. another one. Do I get to like bang some boo babes? It nope. just turns oh, out shit. life's a never ending consciousness of shit. Let, let there be lots of boo. <laughs> <laughs> You find a guy, little ghost hanging himself. Like, where does no. he go? No, he, every time he jumps off the chair, the rope just goes through. He's like, fuck! <laughs> what do you think's after this, buddy? A ghost trying to hang himself. <laughs> the rope just goes through. He's like, son of a bitch! <laughs> fuck! I'm going to try again. Buddy. Why is it not working? That's when you find a ginger, because they don't have soul, so you just inhabit their body, try to live life again. Uh oh. Chris, no, want to chime yeah, in on this one? Don't have souls. <laughs> that's another group we're gonna piss off now. Thanks. Yeah, you know you got to aim at everybody. It's a, it's a wide spectrum. <laughs> what are you talking about? So uh, the running gag right now is PCP Life, one of our songs we played. Oh God! He set up my dicks like a heroin deal and cue all the music. Afterwards, some chicks come up to him like, "How's that funny?" Like, what's funny about it? And they told them, and they were pissed. What's well, not funny about it? To be fair, they were actually really cool about it. Like, it was a conversation. It wasn't like, they were, like, a little offended. But in all honesty, like, they were real cool about it. We talked, you Fuck know. Fuck your feelings. You say, show me your tits? No. I would have. No, he's like, my dick's like I would have ended that real fucking quick. You want to tell them what you actually said? My dick's like a hair needle. Why? I mean, I'm they just, dirty bitches. They just yeah. hoarded it on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> just played it. But, yeah, I know that, uh. We've, we've offended quite a few people. We've had a lady knock over Keith's guitar cab because she didn't like the way his guitar sounded, apparently. Well, because, like, Keith's an asshole. That was the rocker. I mean, she, <laughs> yeah, she, she also threw a basket of fries, a handful of leaves, and a cup of water at us. So she's trying to feed and, uh, you know, yeah, give, give you, you know, drinks, man. She said you're unhealthy. Yeah, healthy. You ungrateful <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. She's like, have a salad, you fat fuck. <laughs> I'm not fat. I'm dead. <laughs> that salad's for the bunny, by the way. Yeah. Rabbits <laughs> like that shit. <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm good. I was going to say, it's the most I've ever seen you drink. Yeah, I got to drive. Hey, pass that fireball over here, man. Yeah. I got to drive nowhere. I don't fucking. I'm the only, like. Danke. Yo, are you could have listened in this I can't band speak who doesn't Polish, drink. even though I'm Polish, but you're welcome. Or that's German. I am Polish. That's German. No, he's the, honestly the most. And the guy that writes uh, all Dunk the is German. About drugs. Yeah, Danke is German. I'm Polish is Nostrovia. I forget yeah. how shitty Fireball is. You can hand, you can hand this back. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it's all. But it's cheap. I said Bud is right cheap. for a reason. That's why 12 year old white girls drink it. Yo, you don't know. It's 2022. I, I thought that was five o'clock. That's what I was drinking when yeah, I was. No, that's white. I, I don't want to get canceled. Wait, I don't wait. Want to see that. I'll tell you what. I can't drink vodka. That's what you drink, again. dude. I drink no, it. I brought it that one time, and that was it. I don't see it. And then you drank the rest. I did. <laughs> he left some like Bud Light seltzers. Or, or oh they, yeah, it was Bud Light seltzers. Whatever. They, yeah. There were there was actually one shitty one, but like the rest of them were actually pretty, pretty fucking good. good man. I just want to let you know, there's no law when you're drinking the claw. So okay, no, those seltzers taste. <laughs> you like You said there's TV no static. law when you're drinking the claw. Damn straight. Tastes like TV static. Oh is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what seltzers taste. Do you like, have to wear a TV bra static. too? Yeah, they're some gross, man. Yeah, I don't like. It's it. not good. <laughs> no, I just like no, no. It tastes like somebody's all shadowing grape next to TV static when you drink that shit. Like, fuck that's that. what I'm saying. T TV static and mangoes. But our boys it's like <laughs> you should, it's like you should be drinking it with like lunch or something like that. Like, hey, like let me uh, drink my white clown. Uh, by the way, I like dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on one now. <laughs> Jokes on you, man. I what do you fucking... think his drum seat is, dude? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I said it, dude. So my drum seat this... broke. It's just a pole, but I like it better. That's got amazing suction cup on it no i fell on out of nowhere just like oh what happened nothing <laughs> uh, nothing well the thing was he didn't get up he just kind of sat there for a minute <laughs> no, I got no up. he got up and went back sometimes down. you gotta let it marinate for a minute <laughs> he fell and he's like hmm. <laughs> i'm and, good <laughs> it's like interesting what is that did you uh any of you watch game of thrones yeah no. absolutely where he's like dick i like it i like it no, have you seen the uh, porno recreation game of bones? Throwing of bones. I've seen uh, this. No. Is, I've seen the Brady Bunch porno. That one was pretty interesting. Oh, 
Shaving Christmas. Ryan's privates? <laughs> yeah, no, shaving. Dude, I <laughs> told you what. I my favorite porno is Tarzan <laughs> Jungle Cock. That is the greatest porno of all time. Wait, tar- wait say that Tarzan again? Tarzan Jungle Cock, the greatest porno of all time. I don't know. Me and Gene stumps the stuff. You don't swing from a vine. You swing from his dick. <laughs> Yo, did you see that drawing though? It shows Tarzan holding like Jane or whatever. And it see, Chris, nuts. we never talk about music, dude. No, but it showed the band. All these music it has nothing to do with the band now. whatsoever. Oh, go showed ahead. what? <laughs> We're go just ahead. chaos. Well, no, did you see that picture? It's Tarzan holding like Jane. Then it shows the back of it. Someone drew it, and he's like squeezing the vine between his butt cheeks and that's how he's holding himself up. <laughs> oh yeah see, from the cartoon right yeah, yeah i've seen that yeah <laughs> see it doesn't help we all have adhd so like any question you ask is just going to get derailed football right. football <laughs> yo ohio state versus michigan today right wait who no, won that, actually who won that game he was talking no, about michigan so, i don't know i didn't yeah michigan was that's up not, when, when that's I not football yeah, fuck, fuck yeah. The fuck yeah. michigan won. football is oh, uh, michigan won. yeah ohio that, got there that was on two today but go ahead, ask your music question. I saw. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 back like, uh, I saw somebody had a shirt on today and it said, "What the fuck?" Uh, Did it you, say "dead girl"? I'm not gay, but no. twenty bucks is twenty bucks. No, no. I have that. Shirt. He has that shirt. You can't spell uh, "cocksucker" without "osu." <laughs> nice, <laughs> That's good. nice. And it like it was perfect. One of my favorite things to say is like, "There's no I in team," like, but there is a me. It's not, so you're fun. in the whole team. Yeah, it's just me. Yeah, I take the team. Yeah, the bass player. <laughs> I'm, their, I'm their motivation or their so-called fluffer. <laughs> but, uh, what music questions you got going, man? Yeah. I had a guy at work <laughs> never heard of the fucking Crazy. term fluffer. Really? <laughs> the people don't know they they exist. The one guy goes, he goes, uh, yeah, he goes, uh, this is better than my last job. He goes, my last job was a porn star. I goes, yeah, being a fluffer isn't the greatest job in the world, dude. <laughs> I always like the guy his... next to me is like, what the fuck's a fluffer? Did you see I'm that? like, what? You know, I'm, I'm a up. I'm a butt plug tester. It's a real pain in the ass. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, dad joke. You ever see the video of the guy? He's like recording a porno and they're fucking. Oh, the donut. Dude. And then, yeah. And then the guy's like eating an eclair. And then he's like, looks at the, he makes eye contact with the guy fucking the chick and he holds it out. And he stops and just gives him the doomy eyes. He he's doesn't. Like, he, he goes. And then the girl's like, ugh. Like he stopped the porno to eat a donut. How much porn do you guys fucking watch, man? I, follow, I saw this on I know it all. I saw this on Facebook. <laughs> Have you ever seen hot ass when a chick farts and it's a fire coming out her butt? <laughs> no. I'll tell you what, look up E fucked. That is a no, site. No, no, do not look, that, <laughs> look no. up E fucked. Have you ever seen Serbian? Go film? down that rabbit hole. No. <laughs> look up thick fap. Shout out to thick fap. I wore my duck butter shirt to work and some guy comes up to me and goes, I just looked that up, dude. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, I wore no, I wore my duck butter shirt when I worked at Kroger's like, you know that means cum, right? I'm like, oh no. it's the I well, duck as butter you know. was a wet yeah. fart. I love duck butter though. I thought it was like the smell. Wait, so you love tank. cum or you like the no, band? No, the band. Those guys are cool as fuck. No, dude. they are. All yeah, they're are great pretty, guys, man. They're pretty solid dudes. They're also old. <laughs> the well, fuck cal- you say calm, there, young? Calm the fuck down there. Uh, uh, I'm Josh. That's Jake. Too, yeah, so fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, all- Keith, we're gonna ask uh, you questions and no one else. All right. Let's go. What did Except I Bunny do? Boy. Penis, 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 penis. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> right, so what's your music question? Yeah. Um, they've all left my mind now. I'm just uh, I have a question. Does shit. your dad know what assholes you guys are? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, he I'm made them. Of course yes, he knows. He yeah, he does. Does. Like, of course he, he knows. Cool no, he is ten though. times worse than me. And oh, my God. <laughs> he's tested everything, too. So actually, I have a question. So is that why you guys got into music? Because your your dad was uh, in the uh, like actually, yes and no. We yeah, on our mom's yes side, or no. our uncle played drums too. So they my, really just so wanted Aaron, their dad to say he was proud of them. So my uncle Aaron <laughs> uh, played drums for Suicide Machines for a bit. Oh right on. And uh, he got me into drums. I've heard of them. I told him like ska sucks though, but anyway. Yeah, yeah I'm like <laughs> ska fans are worse, dude. I showed him interest in drumming. You want to skank yeah. to the beat, bro? <laughs> where's my fed- <laughs> where's my fedora at, dude? You ever see a bunny skank? <laughs> but I uh, told him I was interested in drumming because I tried guitar. String instruments don't work. Not for you? No, I thought of chords when he hit all the strings at once. It's like teaching a toddler algebra, dude. But uh, he's like, oh, you're interested in drumming. Don't make so dollars. Don't make sense. <laughs> but uh, he's a badass drummer. Like, he really is. We well, got it on both sides of the family, though. And one of our mom's boyfriends was really big into music, too. One so. of yeah so we, saw, we saw a lot of we grew up with a lot of music influence because nowadays he's in a blues band called big being the actual proof uh they're really cool it's not my type of stuff but they're good for what they are but in our dance side, we have the more punk rock side of uh, things so it's kind of cool well, aaron does cover uh what is it they play voodoo child by yeah. jimmy and they actually they kick ass on that one but yeah they're they're a total blues band it's 
So has your dad always been in like this like punk rock yes. uh, uh, band like he, like forever? Well, yeah, ran again, away I, I, to, I've not heard of UDI. So like, he like, ran away to my... California when he was like twelve. Yeah, he really he, he yeah. lived like that like hardcore like life. He had scurvy. I'm not trying to put. <laughs> yeah, scurvy. <laughs> no, Have an orange, dude. No, yeah, eat a fucking orange. No, he did it. He told us that he's like, yeah, I had scurvy when I was in LA. I'm like, what? I'm not gonna go too. Okay, much first of all, scurvy story. hasn't been a thing since like 1461. <laughs> your dad used to tell me stories about how like they would beat up the pedophiles and shit and steal their money yeah, yeah i mean that's yeah. not a bad thing no, fuck them like yeah, no, i guess me. while he was in uh california they would lure these dudes into like these alleyways because you know like they're like kids teenagers so these pervert dudes would come and like try to fuck them and then they'd be waiting in the alleyway beat the shit out of them and steal their well, money. The <laughs> so a 12 year old beat up an adult well, it was like a gang of them. <laughs> it's like a punk bunch rock. of, Speaking you know, you've that. seen the movie Suburbia. 10, 12 like, year olds like a, is like two dudes. <laughs> yeah. How many uh, they all got switchblades that hopped up on it's LSD. It's like charts, like chart, like West Side Story and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They start snapping and dancing. So how many, uh, so this is a hypothetical. You have waves oh, dude. of fifth. Wait, hang on a second. Oh. Keith is going to the He's back. got a good stream. Good flow, dude. Pretty, good pretty tight. Yo, hey, Keith, I'm happy you're drinking water, dude. <laughs> you know, we uh, like to promote the healthy prostate in EKG. 100%. Fuck no, I don't yeah. drink water. That shit's You know, speaking you. of peeing, you know what I like to do? When There's I'm water like, in beer, dude. There is. Exactly. Light beer is A lot of it. Thank you. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers. It's the main Tink. ingredient. Tink. Carry on. One of my favorite things to say to people if they're pissing next to you, like, yo, dude, did you just cut your nails or like nice watch? <laughs> like, like what the fuck is wrong with you dude like what i'm just complimenting you bro i like to ask yeah. if they come here often like so look I, at them like hey babe come here often you, you, i like doing? to pick the uh tall person you you know how they're different heights i go to what the people tall, no the urinals, <laughs> like, what do you mean uh the urinals i go to the tall oh. one so when tall person is like I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I'm tall as fuck, bro. Fucking shit. It's no, deep, yeah. too. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like using the handicap ones or like the small ones anymore. I do. I saw, <laughs> no, I saw a meme on. Like, I'm a twin. I'm a handicap. There, there's a guy taking a yeah. shit, and he's like, dude, this is my nightmare. He's in the handicap stall, and he just saw the wheels from a wheelchair in front of him under the like the thing. So he's like, oh, I took someone's handicap stall just because I wanted more space. <laughs> then there was one. Over. There's one. A midget was bitch, and he's like. Dude, you guys all take the short one because you think it's funny until I have to fucking piss. Dude, I was pissing <laughs> next to a midget one time and he kept winking at me. <laughs> oh, I was like, dude, man, I'm, I'm not gay, buddy. I'm sorry. He's like, neither am I, man. You keep splashing me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell him about the Korea thing. Hell yeah, up. no, this is a fucking true story. And it oh, me. I'm, so I go to McDonald's when I was stationed in Korea and I'm pissing. North right? to south. South. Yeah. <laughs> it was Just, a joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Uh, a lot of people ask that question like, oh, you were stationed in North Korea? I'm like, bro, really? shut the fuck up. Like, no. <laughs> no, people are stupid, dude. But I'm uh, pissing, right? And this old man, Odyssey, means grandpa in Korean. He's like looking over. I'm like, cool, I guess. I asked my uh, our translator, I'm like, hey, Kim, like, why is, why is old man Odyssey looking at my dick? He's like, oh, he wants to see if the rumors are true. I'm like, rumors? He's like, what's the rumors? About white guys having big dicks for Korea. But then I'm like, that's fucking weird. He's like, yeah, it's not true for you though. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, fuck you. He's like, why is it? Why is it so perfect? He goes, I just tap on it, man. Yeah, why is yours all fucked up? He goes, I ring it out. You should tell him about the, <laughs> the potato thing, potato crust. These fucking assholes, man. So we were, uh, we did a rowing crew in high school, right? So my first, our first year in the army, we just graduated. So I asked him, like, hey, can we say good luck Crestwood rowing in Korean? And they're like, yeah, sure. So we said Gamja Crestwood Rung, which means fucking potato Crestwood Rung. <laughs> and like, you can see in the video, they're all laughing. They're, they're like, like <laughs> smiling. And I like shared it and everything. I'm like, dude, like I'm proud as fuck. Like I'm wishing my guys good luck. Right. Sure enough, somebody else heard like, yo, you know, you just said like potato Crestwood Rung. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, dude, if I was a tattoo you. artist, if somebody wanted some fucking Oriental writing on there, I would oh, never write. No, there's a wanted. story about that. It's uh, that Ariana Grande chick. I'd write soup. She has like a tattoo on her foot or her hand, and she it's like some Japanese. Oh, letter. it's wrong too. Yeah, no, and and it says like yakitori, which is a Japanese charcoal grill. <laughs> <laughs> and she thought it said like like love or something. Uh, yeah, right, right. That's one of my favorite. Yeah, things but that's hot. When people have yeah, that's hot. It's like, see, uh, it says dating. worms. No, yeah. but, but Kim, man, that guy. So we went to Seoul where they rebuilt the original palace he convinced everybody you have to bow to the fucking emperor statue 
So you just see a bunch of white dudes fucking bowing at this thing, and all the creepy people are like, <laughs> "Like, look at dumb fuck, look at dumb fucks." <laughs> like, what are you guys doing? You can Sorry, that's that was very Japanese or racist. Oh no! Don't, don't <laughs> well, imagine <laughs> seeing a picture of white dudes bowing at a thing. People are gonna be like, "Cultural appropriation." <laughs> no, this all is over and them, and it's them fucking like, with them. Right. No, Kim also convinced somebody he defected from North Korea. He's like, "Yeah, I left North Korea." They're like, "Oh, really?" He's like, "Yeah, dude." Like, well, I walked by it. I grazed it. <laughs> no, yeah, straight up. He told him he's like Kim Jong's like kid or some shit. And they believed him. Like, this dude is fucking stupid. Kim Jong un's kid. <laughs> like, yeah, I just saw a Facebook post. <laughs> I don't know why that strikes me as funny, but it, it's great. It was back when Kim Jong un was sick. Like, a couple, it popped up in my he's Facebook. He's a Kim Jong illist. No, I put that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I put that. And, like, no one got that mad. That boy's sick, bro. No one got mad at me, thank God. I'm like, dude, Kim Jong un is Kim Jong ill. Ha ha ha. It's like my mom got mad at me when COVID started. She's like, back when all that, she's like, you get vaccinated, my mom, you can't get COVID if you're the illest motherfucker around. She's like, so pissed at me. Yo, also when COVID first. I also started, heard you can't get COVID if you do a bunch of cocaine. That's what my friend said. Or drinking, I guess. <laughs> Everything that enters my body dies. But it, your body it, is a cesspool of drugs and alcohol. Nothing semen. can survive. Not even the virus. Semen? <laughs> Not <in> semen. <laughs> no, semen. Who said semen? Just that's him. He's the one who has a tattoo that no. says semen demon. At, no, that's your tramp stamp. Stop lying, dude. But so when COVID first, like, hey, Keith, shut up. Before, yeah, they, stop talking, dude. I know, right? What you're the, the fuck? You're the new Ali. Before they the, shut down, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ali don't say shit. That's funny. He's fucking said that. I watch no, you guys no, podcast. Ali. You've never, <laughs> Ali. Yeah, Ali, no, we love you. Ali, I love your stories, bro. Keep on keeping on. Can you tell, he tells some good stories. Dude, the funniest part about Ali, man, when, when that camera shuts off, he don't shut up. He don't shut the fuck up, man. Which is great. <laughs> Not a lot of people know, but bathroom's he's like killer right Australian. Right. What's that? Yeah, bathroom's, bathroom's right there. there. Say that again? Yes, it's bathroom's yeah, right, yeah. There. It's right there. It's the one with the toilet the in there. Oh. <laughs> There's I'm one room, me. man. I'll pee on the floor. You, I got you. You can figure this out. You can you're out or go for the drain. We believe in you. You're a lot right now. I can figure this out. <laughs> You there. underestimate our IQs. <laughs> now that he's gone. Overestimate, I guess I should say. Now that he's gone, this dick. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Mom should have swallowed him. Yeah, mom should have aborted him. You know what they say? The best part of both of them actually went down her leg. No, it went down her <laughs> And the brown stain on the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break play some more EKG. They got, like... 80 songs we can play, so. <laughs> hey, this is Nuke from Nuke in the Night Shift, and you're clocking into Detroit's state of mind. Don't forget to check out nukeinthenightshift.com on our Facebook page for our online store and current events, and check out our videos right here on Detroit's state of mind. Enjoy the show. Yeah, 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 yeah
Man, I hear that over here. That stream's pretty tight too. Yeah. Uh, see, we we really promote the healthy prostate here. Yeah. Oh al- yeah. Alcohol. Yeah. My liver's. I can't wait to hear your fucking dribble when you go fucking piss. <laughs> it sounds like, like someone's boil over. chicken. You yeah. Can, no, you can hear. You can hear. <laughs> it's like a sizzle. <laughs> it, it's really more like a waterfall. It's just there- like I've been drinking thirty years, my brother's kidneys working great. It's like my <laughs> <laughs> no every every t- every three seconds of this beast stream will stop, and you just hear <clears throat> tink. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it hurts. That's the uh, hurts. kidney stones. You hear the stones hitting the porcelain. <laughs> yeah, tink, 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 tink. <laughs> I heard on the radio, some dude has like a collection of his kidney stones. He keeps. I like, would. A bad, I, I mean, I might too. I might make him rings. You know, one of them's as big as a hardball. Yeah, oh <laughs> I would rather die. I've been telling people recently. I have, I kept my when I got circumcised, like I kept the foreskin. I made a ring out of it. Well, back the fuck up. <laughs> you say you recently got circumcised? No, no, no. no. I said when I. He's a late bloomer. I no. recently said when I got circumcised, my parents. That's not what you said, dude. That is not what you yeah. said. Because I heard. That I blame it on the alcohol. But I, I've been telling people my parents kept it. And I made a ring out of it. That's like, they're, they're, that's fucked up. Like, I'm joking, dude. But am I? <laughs> <laughs> I made a cock ring out of my Check this rock yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Kiss the ring. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so let's, let's let's focus here on some music shit. Yeah. What got you started on, 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 in music, man? So my dad, surprisingly enough, he doesn't play shit. Um, when I was a little kid, I heard uh, David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust, Spider from Mars, and I was hooked on the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. <laughs> and then when I was about... Big tr- Meatloaf fan? And I actually only know the one song where he's like trying to convince a girl to sleep with them. I was like, oh, let yeah. me sleep on it, baby. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I Paradise think... by the Dashboard Light. <laughs> that kind of sounds like Baby It's Cold. But, let me uh, sleep on me. Like, uh, baby, 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 let me sleep on me. When I was 12, I heard Black Flag and it kind of blew my tiny little mind. First four years. And that was like after- the day you decided I don't like talent. Yeah, that was it. I any yeah. d- the Jones, like, Blast, GG, anything that sounded like shit and everyone would hate. He's like, I can be. Musician. I was into that. That yeah. was what I wanted. I only wanted to be in bad bands. <laughs> well, you nailed it. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. It's been I'm a long playing, time man. perfecting Dream this come craft. true. <laughs> you know. A lot of concussions that uh, led to my inability to write music, and I'm proud of that. Wow, that got dark. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, twins? So, uh, well, first twin album. Yes. Yeah, no, who who wait, 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 who's, who's that here is, first? Yeah, who's older? Me. Well, we don't know that because no, they could have mixed us up. Well, I mean, let, let's just go with his, uh, his word. Two minutes. I've heard that all my life. That is I'm a long also, time. <laughs> so is his girlfriend, so. Hey, oh. Oh. So, so did one of y'all like play, start playing music before the other? We sort of started around the same time. No, yeah, but he started playing two minutes before you, though. Oh, yeah, shit. Bitch. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was around the same time. Uh, I mean, he plays bass. Is he really that talented? Yeah. Would you Would you know. rather lug around a bass rig or a drum kit? Neither. Well, guess what? You fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was around the same time. We were like in our like 10 or 12 years old. Uh, Did you always play bass though? Or I started off on bass and guitar. Cause I can play some guitar too. Uh, I mean, they're pretty much interchangeable. Yeah. It, yeah. So I can play both. I'm not like, I can't do like a ton of crazy solos or anything on guitar. No one can. Yeah. Stars that can. Oh yeah. Stars. Got yeah. one feeling and he hurts it. Yeah. So I shout there. Yeah. yeah. We love you, uh, Starzak. Starzak. I Dave's called the best ever. <laughs> hey, hand me that weed real quick. So I tried Come learning it. guitar at first and, uh, that was a nightmare. So I'm like, uh, Man hit thing with stick. <laughs> Just caveman that shit? No, you could ask him. He tried teaching me bass and guitar. No. So drums is the only thing you've ever ever played, like like proficiently? And Good. Saxophone. No, I was bad Keith, at that we'll too. just refer to the two or three other podcasts you've been on here. Uh, <laughs> no, um, like I said, my uncle got We'll get to him. Drums. And then we'll get to Chris. But uh, I didn't really start Maybe. getting into it. Oh, until, we will. <laughs> like, one day, I heard my first, like, I, my inspiration is actually from like real hardcore metal bands and shit. 
Carcass. Like, Who like, is well, like, well, I like Carcass oh. played last night, by the way. I know. An obituary and uh I know. I didn't know right? I didn't know. They opened for King Diamond, right? No, it was like uh oh, uh Armin... Armada oh. Marth. Uh, yeah. Damn it! Where do they play? The Fillmore? Yeah, the Fillmore? somewhere downtown. Yeah. Somewhere Fucking I, I miss Carcass, forward. dude. So my actual inspiration is like that hurts me. Uh, metal band Barry Dead. I don't play like them, but I like them. They got me into like rock music, right? Okay. Uh, then and then Ooh, I started talking strong. to my uncle. Fucking Barry, not Barry Dead. Uh, Suicide Machines nonsense, all that. Nah. Are you a uh, Suicide Machines fan though? Like I do. I, like I mean, them. be honest. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, I uh, like their older stuff. Better. When I was, I'm gonna be honest, I like one album of theirs. It's more than the a first kid. one. Destruction like, by Definition. I listen the only to one ACDC, I like. Suicide, like all the like sort of. And Rocky song band and shit. What what about Break Anchor? I don't know Break Anchor. That's Jay Navarro. Is Suicide, it? Yeah. yeah. He's also It's actually good shit, dude. He was also in Hellmouth, too. I know Hellmouth. I'm not, really? I'm not he was in Hellmouth? He's a singer for Hellmouth. Dude. No, he wasn't. Was he's he? Got another yeah. new band, too. No, uh, I'm joking. I Jay know Navarro and the Traders. Yeah. 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 No, but uh it was that and then uh our dad started getting us more to punk rock, so I also look at Black Flag. I like Dead Kennedys a lot. Dead no. Kennedys rule. No, that can't, they're, they're my inspiration. I saw a my favorite punk band Jello. ever. Me too. We're, me and him were just talking about that on the ride up here. Do you think Green Day is like the best punk band of all time? <laughs> you know, they're definitely the hardest punk band of all time. I would agree. I think Avril Lavigne really she I mean, had she, the best. She pretty much of, shaped the 20th she century. She did. She really did. And, you know, if it wasn't for Avril Lavigne and it wasn't for She's Simple awesome with the Plan, sound off. Oh, simple you know, simple, simple, simple. <laughs> we really wouldn't have the scene do we do today. And I think they really started the anarcho scene and like the hardcore scene. And, yeah. you know, I think we owe a lot to them. And people are going to think you're serious. Well, I am. He is. He talks about fucking Avril Lavigne all the fucking time. You know, would you rather bang <laughs> Let's get any guy in the world or Avril Lavigne? Avril Lavigne. I mean, I'd fuck <laughs> Avril Lavigne. You mean you She's let her? Cute. She's not you bad let looking. her bang you. Yo, oh I, no, no, no! You know what my crush but is? She though? has some money. So. Whoopi Goldberg, dude. Are you, you serious know, right now? Fuck I actually want to go spelunking in Rosie O'Donnell. But I bet I, you could find some treasure in those <laughs> panties. Have you guys yeah. heard of a dime called Dolly Parton? Yeah, no, I want. <laughs> I hear her titties are filled with Hennessy. I need Shout a out sugar to mama. man. <laughs> hey, you'll be working nine to five for sure. Fuck that. I need a sugar mama. You seen Dolly Dude, Parton in the sixties? You ever see her fucking play guitar God and in the sixties? Yeah, that bi- she was. I'm smoking. not even call her a bitch. Dolly Parton she was is fucking key. incredible. I love yeah. Dolly Parton. Yeah. She's a huge. Lo- I'm a huge fan of hers. I am. Honestly. I'm not even joking. No, Dolly no, 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 same for real. Like I really fucking. I have a whole plate. There's a Spotify. her and Charo Scissor. Podcast you should look up, and it's all it's called Dolly Parton's America. Listen to it; it's fucking amazing. Really? Oh yeah, it's is, great. Is she on it? Yeah, so it's like all about her history, all about the impact she's had in the world, and it's really crazy. Like she's done a lot of good in this world. Yeah, dude. Dolly Parton yeah. is like one of the most influential people ever. Anytime fucking, I work a nine to five, don't ever play on her. her. So Keith, what got you into music? Same. <laughs> well, I was born and we're done with the devil. <laughs> GG Allen, the devil went down to Georgia. No, I don't care about you. <laughs> you don't like Outlaw Scum Fuck? Never listened to What? You know, I hated GG the first time I'm I with heard Keith. him. Like, I was not I'm a, a fan, GG dude. Allen like, fan. And then like one day, I just like, it grew, grew on me. I was like, you know what? This motherfucker's really yeah, fucking like herpes. good. Grew on you like a fucking <laughs> I mean, tumor. Like, I don't know no, if he had yeah. herpes. He definitely had AIDS. It's more though. like general. Wolf, oh, he had a lot of shit going on. <laughs> like, oh, what's this growth on my dick? I like it. Like a lot of my favorite Oh, that's my band, girlfriend. It's ripped for her pleasure. <laughs> a lot of my favorite bands I actually hated the first time I heard them. I hated Blatz the first time I heard them. Wait, who? Blatz. They're I'm like not, a they're like familiar. a street punk band from 1989 to 91. They're fucking really grimy sounding. I love them. They're probably like the biggest inspiration of the EKG Oli stuff I wrote. And then like uh Crass. Oh yeah, Crass is definitely like one of the big ones. But I didn't hate the, I hated the Bad Brains when I first heard them. Was not a Bad Brains fan. And then one day they got stuck in my head and I was like, you know what? This is like the best shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. I've tried listening to them over and over and I just can't. I I, I can't bite. No, I can't. No, there's I don't know what it is. There's a I know they're talented, but maybe it's the vocals. I mean, there's a lot of bands that like I feel like that with, too. Like, I just don't see it. I'm not saying they're not good. You shouldn't like them. But like, 
I don't know. There's a lot of bands that like I just don't get the appeal of. At the like, end of the day, you like what you like. Dude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. It, like you don't have to like everything. No, I've had uh, friends come up and tell me that my band fucking sucks. I was like, okay, that's cool. Whatever. Dude, we had a guy, uh, one of our friends. I won't name him, but he shows. Oh, up you show. have to name him now. Oh, his name James and Bam. Fuck him. But he's like, uh, he shows up there, show like, oh, nice seeing <laughs> you, man. He's like, I'm here because your dad's here. Like, man, fuck you too. Right. I'll see you at Thanksgiving. But then, yeah, yeah no, we actually, we, did, actually, we actually did see him at Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Remember that time? Yeah. So you know what you guys should have done? Hey, well, go outside and have a smoke. And then you fucking jump him and beat his ass. <laughs> hey, here's tires. some uh, cocaine notes, fentanyl. Ha! Shout out to James <laughs> Benzik. <laughs> but, uh, oh, so now we have last names. <laughs> but he does come to our oh, show. Shit, should I not have said that? Maybe I should have cut, cut that. Yeah, but part. he doesn't come to your shows to see you. No, well, no, he's been coming. No, to he's, he's, he's a cool dude. No, he's, he's, he's a boy. We just give him shit. Well, it sounds like he gives you shit, too. I was about oh, to yeah. say that. <laughs> Look, if someone doesn't give you shit, do they really like you? That's I give everyone, nope. everyone I love, I give the hardest time imaginable. I go out of my way to be difficult. To I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't, then you, you don't, actually, like, like yeah. why would you waste your time with them? I you, literally will go up to people and ask, why the fuck you hate me? You and don't say. I, I won't. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, never I, done that. To me. I could no, probably pick never. five reasons why somebody would hate you right now oh, just probably. by looking at you. Is it a bunny suit? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I could name you a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ask Josh. I'll get mad. I'll be like, Richie did this, bitch. No, if I haven't crossed the line with you, then that doesn't mean that means I don't love you. Yeah, like ask second. this guy. We should group hug or something. We should. We should. He's kicked nah, me. Well, I'm good. Punched me in the nose. <laughs> No, Richie's we'll, brutal we'll, with Josh. We'll do like, it off camera. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, Keith's uh, son has a squeezy thing. It, like, reaches out. Oh, yeah, the kept, little cl- grabber. He kept yeah. fucking with him and Josh out of nowhere. He's like, fucking stop, bro. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it's not to say that he doesn't give shit back. Like, he fucking pantses me and shit. In front of kids. I, I mean, got kicked in the nuts and I stopped I don't think that. you mind being pants, though. I mean. Oh, he I did. saw it in your fucking well, underwear, man. I'm going to say this. <laughs> When there's like a show with a bunch of like kids around, I ain't trying to be on no fucking list like that. Like I, <laughs> I I'm not fucking no. Like if I thought it's you like, like Gigi Allen, if it's like <laughs> I thought you yeah. were a Gigi fan. No, I learned my lesson when I got kicked in the nuts really fucking Yeah, he hard. pants him right there. He's like, there's fucking kids around fucking rock. No, he didn't even right say that. I, it, his pants were even down. He kicked straight they back. They wore down. He no, donkey no, they came it. down. But no, I, yeah. No, he donkey kicked me straight in the dick, dude. I got dick-seeking kicks. And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> my feet love dicks. That sounds like a porno right there. I love the feel of balls smushed against my foot. And he's like, I didn't hit you in the Little ball. size like, four feet on my nuts. That's why he's always in sandals, just in case the opportunity arises. <laughs> that shit sucks. I just got my toes did for this shit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Richie damn. likes to ask people what's in your tape deck. Yes, I do. But everybody can't follow that question for some reason. So we all know. So, I think maybe we so should switch good. it to what's your go-to. So, like, what do I listen? You're to? in the car. I got a go-to <laughs> jam. All right. Drugs so, or? a band called Slup Bomb. They're from Ohio. I fucking they're the, one of the greatest bands, in my opinion, that you could go out and see right now. Fucking, they're like fast as shit. Their lead singer fucking kills it. Uh, Crass is always a big one for me. Been listening to a lot of like kind of depressing folk punk shit though late recently. So I'm not a good Ew. person to ask what's like in what. The, uh, I've been listening to what something kind something like spitting some Elliot Smith because you know it's Elliot. The Smith. band's called something like spitting. Yeah, kind of really like kind of like spitting. Kind of like spitting. Too. Have you heard his uh? Uh, what's the folk? I forget the name of the folk singer. He does a whole tribute album to it, and it's fucking amazing. It's really great. That, no. I've been trying to do a lot more uh, acoustic shit lately. You ever listen to Bright Eyes? I do. I, I, I I've okay. been on like like a little freaking kick lately, man. Um, the guy's a great songwriter, man. Did you ever hear the uh, Loretta's Lament? Look up that song. I'm not hip mm. to that one. It's a it's a fucking a um, yeah. It's an amazing song. Is that Bright Eyes? Or? Yeah, it's Bright Eyes. Okay, cool. Um. What's that one band with uh, Phoebe Bridgers that like Connor Burst is in? EKG. I I don't know. <laughs> it's some. There's like three people in it or something. That's super good too, though. Is yeah. it Bachman Turner Overdrive? I actually have like it's, a, Kathleen, it's <laughs> Kathleen Turner Overdrive. I actually have a friend some, who like made no, me a playlist <laughs> of like shit like that. So I've been listening to that and finding a bunch of new shit. Doug wanted to name our band Kathleen Turner Overdrive for a long time. <laughs> it's not a bad name. No, it's kind of cool. 
So uh, better oblivion actually, society. A band name topic. Our dad was talking about like doing some jam shit with me and my brother. He's like, "What should name?" I'm like, "Didn't Pat and I?" I'm like, "You should name it the failed abortions." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I'm like, oh these are my, my failed God. abortions." Like, what's up? Call it coat hanger, <laughs> coat hanger scars. You know that you got to come out with like a coat hanger in your cheek and shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of my boys, uh, he's like, my "Someone's mom got a vacuum a cleaner thing stuck to their head." <laughs> <laughs> with a video of Joan Crawford from Mommy Dearest chasing the kid around with a coat hanger. <laughs> well, seeing this makes me think of uh, the sticker, the band come out fighting. That came out fighting because I was fighting that fucking hate. Well, one of my uh, old soldiers love come out fighting, uh, by the way. That's a team leader in the army. It's like, yeah, my mom threw a clothes hanger at me. I'm like, was that before you were born? And, <laughs> and somebody else heard that. They're like, dude, what the fuck? I'm like, what's your go to, by the way? My go to for music? Yeah. Lately, it's uh, I've been listening to a lot of Dead Kennedys. Like, I've, I've been loving stealing people's mail just because I think it's hilarious. But then it changes to like. That's not an admission of anything. It's not. We have to add. That. I mean, I just got a check. That's a federal from... offense, sir. <laughs> yeah, but I got some checks for like. Is that where bucks. the anthrax mail came from? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this anthrax, baby, it's the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, I've been listening to a lot of rap lately, too. Like what? Easy. Okay. Easy, uh, oh, old public like enemy, bro. Yeah, from Flavor Flavor. He rules. I he love does. Public Enemy. No, dude. fucking same. Flavor Flav gets sort of annoying sometimes. So, like, first of all, we're done with you. <laughs> yeah, Public Enemy is the best rap group of all time. Yeah, I love Public. No, they ever look they're great, up, but um, the song "We're Public Enemy Number One in Detroit." We're Public Enemy. No, I was like, okay, I have so a hangover. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Doing no, that's this. that was a that's flavor. not a great song. So, like, a great thing to look up. Look up Mike One Two Check. Somebody mixed a bunch of rap songs. That's Beastie Boys, right? Well, so it's yeah, but it's like a reference to it. So it's a. Mashup of rap and punk, so it's rap oh. songs to punk music. Oh, you played that for really? so it, yeah. It's got um, Public Enemy to uh, Black Flag the Bars. It's got Tupac to X. It's got um, Dead Presidents. Does it work? Oh, it's fucking amazing. You'll it's never really? want. It's pretty. You'll dope, never want to hear either original again. Like I'm fucking done listening to Sex Pistols. And Aki in the UK. I, I was done hit. the first I time I fucking say, heard him. I was going to say, I was never a big fan. Like, okay, had enough. I was yeah. never big on Sex Pistols. You know, that was a band I was really big on and then slowly, like, grew. I never had a Misfits phase. You're like, oh, I grew up. That. You don't no. like the Misfits at all? I like the Misfits. I never had a phase where I was, like, really big into them. I, I did in high school, man. Like, early fucking Misfits with fucking Danzig, man. I listened to Earth AD gold. a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dan- Danzig drums. shit's where it's at. Uh, My first time. Not the Michael Graves. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck him, man. I'm sorry. That's my. some good songs. Big Upper Bones. No. Who? No. No, no. Michael Grace. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. I wasn't a fan of the Michael Grace. Yeah, that's a great song. So actually, my first song on drums. Yeah, yeah, that's like like my favorite version of the Misfits, probably. The thing I don't like about the later stuff, it's way too overproduced, man. Like the early shit was just like raw, like. Yeah. yeah, no, it was like it's yeah, like here's your cassette night. tape. We ran it over the car seven times, and <laughs> he, like here's what you got. It sounded so, like they recorded off a of recorded yourself. Have you seen them tape? live? No, I never did. No. no, we both did. The first time we saw them, oh, they, had the, yeah. they had the Addicts album for them. Addicts killed it. Fucking great. Yeah, with and Michael Graves. This was no, no. It was Jerry only Death oh. Dean and Robo. But fucking uh, okay. Mrs. Play were like, dude, this shit fucking sucks. Like. So we saw them a year later. They had a bunch of shitty local metal bands open for them. Funny story. I brought that up to somebody. Like, yeah, Misfits played a bunch of metal bands open. Shitty metal bands. Are like, we opened for the Misfits. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. you were on that bill. I was what? like, oh well, you guys were good. Ha 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 ha. So very, <laughs> very quick, just to keep the question going on. Yeah, what I typically listen to because I have a ton of CDs in my car, like a lot of people would. You actually right. have a CD player, like for real? Yeah. No, I do too. You might be the only one well, besides your brother. I have O2 Saturn, dude. Ah. Uh, OG. I ha- right now yeah. I've been on a. He's got the market. cassette tape that goes into the no, cassette player no, and into the CD player. <laughs> I don't. I don't have that. But our give work, me your ox cord, bro. Our no. work trucks do. He has shitty blown out speakers and fucking a leaking radiator. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> what I tip, I've been on a big Descendants kick again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Same lately, dude, man. I, dude, I love them. Dude, uh, my boss, and it sucks. I'm bonding with my boss over this shit. Because side effects has a song, like, uh, Boss's Blood. I always sing that in my head at work. But uh, Are you an all fan by any chance or no? I'm not big on all, dude. It sounds like <sighs> it's out. I, it's not bad. I gave it a it's go. It's the Descendants without Milo, you know? It is. I mean, that. well, that's exactly not, what it is. Not, well, it is, but they're not bad. It just, it just sounds off to me. 
So I'm used to Milo's voice. I have so, all so, the CDs. So before so. you guys got here today, like him and I were listening, we're listening to, listening uh, to uh, uh, it's an All Descendants uh, live split album. Yeah. Give it a chance, man. I'll, no, I'll check Chad it out. Because sure. there's been multiple singers in all. And Chad Price, the last it's a singer. split is, with both. Yeah, it, okay. it's it's all live shit. And Chad Price, the last singer of all, again, as far as I know, it fucking kills it. I'll man. have to check it out. It's fucking really good. Dude, did you ever see that documentary film? Which, it's good. No, I did it, not. It, it's it, good. Paints them, yeah, like, it paints it. them like rock stars because they are rock stars. You know? Oh, absolutely. But fucking them, chemist fucking singer. They're fucking no. nerdy rock stars. Yeah. Like Milo goes to college, like, you know. You're yeah. a rock star. He's like, dude, he's a fucking more chemist. Money than me. Yeah. Then, I tell you what, though, man. I don't know if you say the same Steven, Stefan, Egerton, whatever. Stefan. Whatever. For fucking a, one guitar fucking band. Dude. That motherfucker. Yeah, dude. He he's doing shreds. some crazy shit, dude. So I have to ask you guys a question. What's your favorite Descendant song? Oh, fuck, dude. Uh, I, Never I, listened to I'm, it. I'm going to go with Bikeage. No. Bikeage? Just like, for the hell of it. Just the first thing that came to my mind. So I like Everything Sucks Myself. I like Pover. That's a great. That's the only tour I ever saw him on was that no fucking. Shit. Uh, my yeah. favorite. My favorite. Mine's oh. definitely pervert. I love that song because I'm a pervert. My that makes sense. Mine's all. <laughs> oh no! No all. Oh. No, dude. I've been one song gets stuck in my head by them's clean sheets. No, oh, that dude, one, it's a great fucking. Dude, it, I'm sitting there dude, whistling. No, at work. Was, it's good poppy saying, shit, man. Yeah, these shoes are dirty, but so am I. Me, whatever, whatever the lyrics are. I'm like, dude. Now I'm thinking that. Fuck. Uh, another one I listen clean to a sheets lot, mean a lot to really, a guy who sleeps really like on the floor. Song, uh, I quit. Yeah, I, I quit. Yeah, American so I, EP. I, I know literally yeah, based on what it You never sounds. got into this, uh, Descendants? No. Another one, though, is Iron Maiden. That's you another like big em. one for me. He hates I just Iron never Maiden. listened to them. I, I do, just saw I them. I do hate Iron Maiden. I know who they Recently, are. Recently, they're so the good name. still. Yeah. Made it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, my buddy at work went to that. Uh, we saw him at Pine Knob a couple of oh, like 12 years ago. Yeah, I was probably at that show, too. Uh, it was, which because it was the, a Cedar uh, release for Final Frontier. There's Yeah, there's that. They redid Seven Son of a Seven Son. Yeah, that that was a badass show, dude. Uh, my favorite Maiden albums, uh, the Killers album, Power Slave. I, dude, I, yeah, the Power Slave is good too, though. Power Slave's dope, but th just something about the Killers, man. I just jam out to with old Paul Diano shit. I saw Iron Maiden one time, and the only reason I saw him because I went to see Clutch. Oh shit! And yeah, they were oh, opening yeah. for Iron Maiden. So we saw him right after Dio died. So it was a big like Dio thing, like oh shout out to Dio, he's in it, all that. But that I'm. Was that the one they shot fireworks in the crowd? I don't remember, dude. But no, it was, they shot fireworks at us one time, so I don't remember which one it was. But the second time I saw them, though, they had Alice Cooper open up for them. That was good because I saw. I was Cooper. at that show. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I saw Cooper for years at the State Fair. You know, because he used to play there. I don't understand the hype the, like behind like Alice Cooper, man. Like really, like, I, I really don't. No, I love Alice. Cooper. I just like the music. He's, I see, uh, I the old Alice saying. Cooper band was fucking amazing. Yeah, I was, I'm I sure they that. were. Like, <clears throat> I that's have my warm. I really I liked him. Like, like I'm from Missouri. Drums, show me, show me, like, like why he's so great. Like, I don't. I, I think it was music. like the time that he came out and the shit that he was like. You know, who else was singing about dead babies? And he's from Michigan and so. shit like that. And you know, he had like a lot of just because you're from Michigan don't mean shit, man. Yeah. Kid rocks from fucking Michigan. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm from, yeah, I'm from right. Michigan. Shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Like he. He was definitely an influential dude. He sang about some weird shit and was kind of big in that. So scene. he was on the Chipmunks but, uh, movie. That's why I like. That. Oh well, there we go. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mystery solved, Scooby. <laughs> Before we me, I was like, Bro. "Oh, this is badass. There's rock music on this." <laughs> what the hell is that one Alice Cooper song? Like something wheels. They got me under uh, under my got wheels. Got you under my wheels. I do love that fucking song. I like that song Nightmare a lot. I love the dead. What EKG nightmare? No, not EKG. I love, I love. <laughs> my favorite song by him is that cliche song, "Baby, if you want to be my lover." I fucking love that song. He's like the breakdown where it gets all like slow and sexy, yeah. like baby, baby, baby if you, you want to be, be my lover, lover, you better. T <laughs> Almost sounds like a kiss song. It's a long, long way to paradise. Oh, speaking of kiss, though, I'm still on my own. I'm probably gonna piss some people off, but think about it. I see Cold people, Ethel, like those, fucking great song, like those Juggalos. It's pretty much the Kiss Army. <laughs> They're wearing face paint, got a cult following. I'm not a Kiss fan myself. No, there no, are some songs. No, neither am I. That's why I, I'm saying this. It's I like the Peter Chris, the slow ballad song. Josh man. is saying Kiss. I look. I work with a guy who looks just like Peter Chris. Really? Every time I walk by him, I go, Beth, I hear you. He's like, fuck you, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I won't be home right now. What he's saying is uh, Kiss are the original Juggalos with the face paint and shit. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not. But they hate it. The Kiss <laughs> Army doesn't wear Kiss 
paint though. Yeah, they, I see. They don't yeah, dress but see, up that's like because yeah, but the ICP, fans do though. ICP is more militant, right? They're, they're more about it. Mess with an ICP fan. They're fucking Whoa! Stab yeah, take you. your headphones Whoa. off, bro. I was at a, <laughs> I was at a bar after a show. Guess once. what you just bought? And we were joking around, like, dude, me and this guy, me and this guy named Marcus, like, dude, I'm gonna play, I uh, kiss over the jukebox. I was like, I was made for loving you, baby. Worst fucking song, dude. No, I, dude, I, I, I know. The only one worse than that is God gave rock and roll. To <laughs> I think their disco years were their best. But no, when personal. I played that, you like lick it up. First three albums. I love yeah. lick it up. I don't care lick it up's a great does. album. Dude. I like to lick people and I like to be licked. Dude, it's a song about eating pussy. Like, what? What more do you? Want? But dude. With That's that. the record they took their makeup off, right? Yeah, yeah. That was the first I had no, that I one on CD. And Gene Simmons is an ugly motherfucker. No, dude, the first one without their makeup is called Unmasked. No, you oh, see is that? it? No, it's Creatures no. of the Night. It was the first one they went without makeup. Okay. You see I that video, corrected. though? You're like, ugh. <laughs> like, I don't want to see that. Everybody's like, oh, put that shit back on. Back out. <laughs> I played that song. I was made for loving you, baby. The, me and him were joking around like, dude, everyone's going to fucking hate this. As soon as Everybody it loved on, it, right? Yeah, as soon as it came on, everyone singing the fucking song. Like People are getting up on the bar. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why? Because it's a catchy tune. No, it is. It gets stuck in your head. But the same people said, I fucking hate Kiss, man. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Dude, Kiss fucking sucks. Do you, though? Every band that you may like or not like, whatever. There's a song you like. There's still songs that you probably kind of dig by them. You know, even if if you you don't own one of their records, whatever. It's like my guilty pleasure sometimes is uh, Limp Biscuit. Every once in a while. I like Limp Biscuit, and I ain't going to fucking deny it. Yo, Break Stuff is a pretty solid song, so. I could actually beat you 50 times over. You ever see a show, iCarly? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, we're both in that age frame where we know I hope. Miranda, Miranda Cosgrove put out this album, and there's one song on there I fucking have in my fucking Apple playlist. I fucking play nonstop. Yeah, there's my guilty I mean, pleasures question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I'll, should I will hear say, all the stupid shit I listen to on my mine's, playlist. My guilty pleasure is uh, Enrique Iglesias. I is that re- what you tried to spell last week? That- <laughs> yeah, I, I spelled it Iriki uh, glassy ass. I thought that's what you meant to say. No, but like yeah. I, I couldn't really Irique fucking a glassy So ass. you guys know the post hardcore, like the sort of like screamo with whatever. Uh, there's this band called Crystal Poop Lake. Poop nap and passed out. Wait, called what? Crystal Lake from Japan. Okay. They cover a uh, Limp Bizkit rolling, and they fucking do it better than Limp Bizkit does. Bunch of Japanese guys. You can hear their accent. They're like, look up a Japanese like, keep band on called Keep on a baby. Aka Kobe, Aka Kobe Beaver. I think oh, called. that band's the fucking the fucking shit. badass, dude. Is that that chick punk punk yeah, band? Whatever. They, they're they, not they, chicks. No. Uh, what the hell is that? That fucking Japanese chick fucking punk. I thought they were women anyway. The f- the five, six, seven, eight. No, no, no. It's like some crazy fucking. Yeah, that, I, that's. I thought that was. It is. Maybe that is them. Yeah, it is. There's another band though. It's a. These guys are. Tr- he wears dresses and shit. I I know the metal dude. EKG. The, 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 the guitar player plays a fucking Steve Vai. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of moody. Steve Vai, Ibanez. Like <laughs> the drummer's a, a fucking madman. Is, it, side is, thing. is this, is this the, uh, the YouTube videos that you showed me before or no? Yeah, I've showed them to you before. Okay, so I thought they were women. I am wrong. The... the the bass player singer guy is it's a dude, but it's, yeah, and then, no, so I thought it's, they were chicks. It's the one white dude, right? And then there's like the two Japanese. No, they're all go- Japanese. All right, so there's like a metal band. It's hard to even find their name not in Japanese. That I, it, that I, is the band. I, yeah, yeah. I, I can't yeah. type Japanese, so dude, this shit's fucking good, dude. dude they're I, don't, I believe it. I got a theory. Hear me out here. Meticulous. If you look at like Japanese metal Birds and Japanese real. punk. Like Japanese metal and punk go like really extreme, kind of like old school punk. Did. No, they do. But you have to think about that. Society's like so, like they're so uh, under so much stress all the time. Yeah, if you don't do it right, you fucking have yeah. to put well, suicide. Also, so they got to they got to blow off steam. So when they do it, they do it in like some hardcore way. Because there's a big bands, movement, and they're there fucking too. perfectionists too. Yeah, man. dude, they're no. You ever see some I of the bands where they dress in leathers and fucking slick their hair like it's the fifties? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, the fucking the, uh, the uh, there's a big movement really over there. Uh, what the fuck was that? Fucking band, something wolf. Guitar Wolf. Guitar Wolf, yeah. Yeah. Japanese guy. Dude. Yeah, they're really big. I saw them one the time, man. They were fuck between every fucking song, they're slicking their fucking hair backs and shit, yeah. dude. Like what? <laughs> they're like the like the the Japanese Chinese fucking Ramones, dude. So they were I, fucking great, man. So when I was uh stationed in South Korea, I got I jumped on their subway, yeah, fucking rushed. saw some J- uh Korean punk rockers. Dude, they like they go extra, like you were saying, like they take it a step farther. I'm like, these guys like punk rock. Awesome, but they but, take it so much fucking farther, dude. Like I cut dick off today. Well, no, good. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck into my ass. What'd you do? Do you ever see Kill Bill? Yeah, that 
Yeah, the five, girl six, band seven, five, six, seven, eights. No, uh, go look up their shits, kick ass. You rucka rucka, Mara. You rucka like a James Mansfield. James Mansfield. Yeah. Well, the worst is uh, this guy named Kim. My boy Kim, I talked about earlier. Uh, oh, my boy Kim. There's, there's, a boy, Kim. Of, there's a lot of Korean dudes named. Kim. Oh, I'm sure it's probably like John no, here or some shit. A, this yeah. is the Kim that told people it's from North Korea and they believed him. But oh, uh, he said left, but it came out as reft. I'm like, yo, bro, it's pronounced left. He's like, you're saying that because I'm yellow. I'm like, I am not saying that. He's like, uh oh. He's like, they're bringing race into this. No, it's not. Ra- it's what he's. He's like, yeah, but they're not gonna believe you. They're gonna believe me. I'm like, man, fuck you. <laughs> EKG I did is not now say canceled. that shit. Is you Keith, had enough there, bunny man? Is Keith pooping? Oh. No, he's. Get, I think he's getting weed. No, uh, Kim would play pranks on people like that. Like I said, let me try and say left inside of that. He's like, you're saying that because this. I'm like, no, I'm not. Please stop. He's like, they're not going to listen to you. They're going to listen to me. I'm like, oh, nice knowing you. What's that place? Uh, you know, baseball. Oh, ref fuel. <laughs> ref, ref. Never mind. <laughs> I get where you're getting at. Well, he just got us canceled. Me? Or <laughs> Hold my beer. Watch this shit. <laughs> Do you I'll want tell to make... you what. I think is Keith. Though, is did he die? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. He's taking a shit. Hurry up, dude. Also, are, you fu- are you fucking shitting? Are you jacking off? No shitting on a tour bus. Was it Keith that told us a story about Johnny and the Viagra? Don't know. Never mind then. No. Oh. Ew. That's a funny story. Yeah, but I don't think he wants us telling him that. Well, we'll just ask him. Well, he's that. not here, so fuck him. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I crossed that line. I pissed off Richie. You so what off. would you guys say is a highlight moment a, or a show that you guys did? Oh, uh, the, dude, there's a couple. So, there's yeah. a CD release they of the Regal Beagle Christ show. People. Uh, I would definitely show. say the CD release show was pretty fucking. It was really, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of support from a lot of people. We got to play with some really great bands. Um, or is that it? There was that, uh, that was at the Voodoo oh, House. Oh no, oh, the CD release. Really yeah, show. shout out to the Voodoo House. I fucking love that place. Yeah, that place. Shout out to Lexi. Um, man. we uh, played with Revolt the second time we played with Revolt. We uh, got a really good standing. O- yeah, that was way before you guys. We got like a fucking like six encores they wanted from us, and like they kicked us off because the bar was closing. Um, there's been actually like a lot of really great shows that we've played. Uh, Recently, though, the Regal Beagle one was pretty fucking. The Regal Beagle. Was it Regal Beagle or is that a band? That's a so that's, that's in uh, Ipsilanti. Yeah, it's uh that one of the uh, barbecue. Yeah, it's yeah. honestly my new favorite spot. I fucking and, love it. We and played. They, did, they just put on the Does stage, Jack Tripper right? work there? Uh, I don't. Sorry, know. came in late, Mister Furley. But that place, uh, dude, no, it, nothing. If no Lanny one? has younger, a younger crowd there, so it's cool getting. Well, it's a college town, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like people hard. move around out there. I don't know. That's what I like. Like in Detroit, it feels like everyone's just kind of staring at you. Like they Not might want to beat your ass. As somebody you know, but like in Ipsy, they kind of like move around and dance. Well, again, because they're young. Everyone in Detroit is old and fat and yeah. old <laughs> and old. Not fat, thick. thick. No. <laughs> but like, pretty hot and tempting. I would definitely also walk say, walk upstairs, um, say no. a long time ago, <laughs> we're playing a cork town. We ain't going so far away. I miss, dude. I miss the fucking cork town. Well, so a long time you miss walking your gear up the fucking stairs. I never well, played. No there. one misses that. Oh, I just miss going to shows there. But no. like uh, one imagine, of the imagine other, logging your fucking amp up there. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Well, Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I love one home, of the I other home, uh, greatest but, shows that, we've ever played the was the first show I ever booked. It was an April first show, and that was actually at Corktown, and uh, it was UDI leading cause of death, a band called the Fuck Boys that I really miss. They were like a great band, and uh, Beer Van and Daddy. EKG. And that was a, I was surprised how many people showed out. I did not expect the turnout. I was actually like able to give the band some money and show. You know what turned out surprised me? That old Miami show. Oh, yeah. We, well, that's because like, that's just a happening bar. Like people just go there no, to but drink. Us, no, right? our, our crowd is when we played, we played last. So we're like, oh, people are going to split. No, more people came in. Yeah, but and I, then we had the cops. That bar these days, though, has its own fucking built in Wayne State fucking crowd, though, man. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, no offense to y'all. No, no, no. It's happened, true, though, because it's happened? like around where everything's happening down there. It's a bunch of young kids. Yeah, we, PBRs are five bucks now. Yeah, yeah. we did it used have to be a dollar. So, uh, some cops. No, I, I remember. So, when I said um, that. 
our shirt came up and they were like, we're excited to see you guys as we just come out with the natural born cop killers fucking album. <laughs> These so, cops are like, we're excited to see you guys. So we're like, what the fuck is this? Yo, so, dude, speaking of that, my sister went to school wearing that shirt and she the natural born cop killers, cop. and they, they had a presentation by cops. So like, yeah, I talked to this police officer. He just kept them looking at my shirt. I'm like, oh my God. No, so uh, yeah. are you talking like high school or some shit? Yeah, or? she's in high school. And she wasn't asked to like go home and change I'm or some so, shit. No, I'm so bright. It's 2022. So I guess. what he said though, uh, uh it exactly. Was, it was <laughs> yeah. the show. We walk in, the first thing I see is people wearing like some like button up black shirts, and I see Detroit State Police like logo on. I'm like, huh? And they come up to me like, yeah, we're excited to see you guys play, and like that's right after we released our CD. The cop killer TV. Yeah, like, after we have this song about shooting up schools on it. I'm fucking like, oh, you say the police. Is that the Columbine song? Yeah, yeah, that's the fast times at Columbine it, High. The recording of it though, we uh it's a little had, over the top. The recording we had the we, guy dub in like the footage from the news. Yeah. Columbine. So it starts off they have guns and they're coming you hear gunshots in the background and it's but just, nobody like, oh. gets mad about that. Dude, yeah, I, well no, so someone did. The thing that I'm mad. upset about is that little fucking ping pong ball that fucking like dribbled over his fucking uh, <laughs> gun tonight. <laughs> That's pathetic, man. <laughs> Fucking, that's a metaphor should, too, because that happens to him when he. You pees. should talk to yeah. him, uh, to his woman about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. You mean the prosthetic vagina? The no, cock, the cock, cock, cock. Vagina. He pulls out this fucking gat, and there's one dribble over of a ping pong ball. <laughs> you, you brought one ball with you, man? No, I had more. They shot out. They're over here. There's one right oh, here. and then I had like a couple that got a little air. On. Oh, I didn't. I didn't see. I didn't see anything. I thought it was just air. Like, no, they they're over. They're actually. Oh. there's one underneath the there's table one right here. There's yeah. One right there. Yeah. We guys sign my ball. I'm stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to figure out how to get a band logo on him. It's the only one Start I have shooting left. Them. Well, EKG has a plan for birth control. The defense. And that yeah, is just, what? That's it's the uh, nude economy. calendar. What's that? No, band it's, photos? No, it's no, so Yeah, it's actually <laughs> the nude <laughs> calendar is going to promote abstinence because once you see that nude calendar, you're not going to Are you guys really sex. like doing this nude calendar? Like Absolutely, yeah. dude. That, yeah. That's a serious thing. We have a picture of me and him. He's holding a Samurai He loves this shield. picture. And he I'm won't shut up about it. Yeah, but when he censored it, he drew like this big ass like on Snapchat. He took like, he colored it in so it won't show. But you see the shadow and you see like a little... Is it like that guy that's sitting on the edge of the bed? Yeah, like the... yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he really made it seem like we have bigger wings than we so actually do. Have pictures. you guys have you guys like shot all the, uh, the pictures yet. for this? No. Not so yet, but for uh, February, for his Valentine's Day, he's going to have like a little bow and arrow going like that. So I'll be sitting there going... So I have a bunny. And y'all just be like dicks out, whatever. Yeah. Well, so it's going to be. Is it just you two then? No. Nope. (laughs) So like I have a buddy who's shooting a music video for my solo project. And he's going to, we're going to pay him because I don't think he's going to do it if we didn't. I wouldn't do it. Shout out to Tyler. (laughs) You better find him some cash. But he's going to shoot the, uh, he's going to shoot the calendar because he actually like is a photographer and stuff. You're very quick. It's censored. I'll just show you this. Uh, You know, look at this. Wait, he, the fuck? he's always <laughs> whipping this picture out so what month is that <laughs> that well that was just a oh my god oh there we go <laughs> well that hasn't happened before that being said that's jake <laughs> lumpicky not josh <laughs> i'm josh i'm sorry did you trip over your dick no uh, no one wrapped around his ink <laughs> oh, how the fuck did that happen yeah, no, if you looked at it, how the fuck did that happen? I mean, it looks like a snare. Did you rip the headphones out or anything? No. I don't know. Jake. Well, thank God's got a 40 nah, foot cord on there. there. Can you say something? No. We still it's work. still here. Shit. It's, he said it works. Josh, I don't oh, I'm sorry. Drugs. No First ball. time somebody's wiped out, man. Uh, you know, <laughs> okay. never had EKG before. No, Some <laughs> guy pulled an eyeball out, but nobody's falling yet. He'll be walking and he like yeah. drops his phone yeah. just randomly. Uh, Somebody yeah. knocked over one of the fucking lights. Don't fucking do it, man. Do Somebody dropped one of the lights and broke it. So see the sensor ball, right? Yeah. Oh my god. He's just no, where? That little shadow. Oh stop. <laughs> Yo, dude, two inches from And you know, shadows increase the size of things, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see anything. Dude, two inches is hell at 90 miles per hour. No, it's not. That's why he tells himself to feel better. It's like nobody hired a fluffer, huh? Nope. It was who cold needs, in the room. Who needs a fluffer when you're staring <laughs> at his fire went out. It, was it was super warm. <laughs> All the, the blood flow July. was going. <laughs> oh, you had my phone. Whoops. <laughs> no, I didn't show anything on the That's not my... Hey, hey, Dave, do the clacker real quick so, so we can, like, mark this point when he fucking fell. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Hadi şöyle durun bakayım şimdi katır tekmesini yiyeceksiniz. <gülüyor> This next one is off of a little known EP called the Drugs EP. It's called Disappointed. You uh, should go on the band camp and look it up because it's a great EP, but no one ever listens to it. <laughs> Disappointed in you and I know There's a boy that I've been to I've been to all the rich politicians Some of the little free citrus Never they don't want to listen You're so real, so please go join So Disappointed in you and I know There's a boy that I've been to You're all the little rich fucking kids You're trying to put me away on Stay that way back together You're throwing that trash away to join Welcome back, Jake. That's going in like the. Uh, I'm just gonna hear bonus. Hey, well, like, uh, well, you have like the highlights uh, of the interviews throughout the year. That's got to be in the highlight reel. No, no. I don't it mean to like, break. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but there's another tooth missing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually. I'm missing this, that, and oh, here. it's stuck in the floor. Awesome. Well, there's a, your souvenir. <laughs> <can I get back? laughs> Yo, so speaking of falling and taking pictures, it's just a quick army story. I was an assistant gunner oh, for a machine God, gun team, and uh, I had to carry the tripod and ammo and stuff. We had, we were doing a field training thing. We had there was photographers out there. We're crossing this road, and I had this the bag that has the, everything in it has a strap. I'm like, dude, we're in a hurry. I can't tuck this away. There's a a picture somewhere out there with me where I step through the strap, and midway through the fall, like I'm like, I just saw the army photographer like click. I'm like, god damn it! <laughs> like, it it was bad. So, so Keith, no, oh, sorry. Oh, that we said so Keith at the same time. Do you want to say anything today? How big's your dick? Shh, let him talk. Nine inches. Ask you nine inches. <laughs> I believe that too. Keith's not one to like over exaggerate. But most, just most of it tells a, most of it's foreskin. Most of it, just a big old flap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> want to come into my love tunnel? <laughs> Gross. That is the <laughs> I can finger my own dick. <laughs> yeah, I saw a nasty picture. Someone had a, a sushi roll shoved in their foreskin. Oh, my. Well, Did that's you... unfortunate. I fucking love sushi. Too. People ate yeah, like people paid 60 no bucks just for that one roll. <laughs> <laughs> so we never got to you. What's your uh, go to when you're driving? Like you. I've been listening to yeah. a lot of backdoor boys. I, I drive a mile away. <laughs> oh, fair enough. That's weird. Can't even fucking hear it because you won't fucking you, put Chris? that mic. What's your go-to? Yeah, what's your go-to, go-to Chris? To, uh, the Clash, the Ramones, shit like that. Social D. I know you hate them. The 77. Beat up the I don't. Beat up the Brett. You love them. You got a, you're wearing the hat and the tag. <laughs> what's up, I saw bitch? Social Distortion <laughs> uh, live Hello, once. high five. Oh, shit. You motherfucker. Hey, I fuck with Social Distortion. So I saw them fine. live once and they're it was good. not what I, because it was like. They're like a rock I thought it was going to be like a bunch of punk bands. And it was the it, first it's just time rock I and roll, man. Yeah, it's yeah, the first yeah, time no, I ever yeah. saw Frank Turner live. Not the and, first oh, album. But you were yeah. at that show? Yeah, yeah. There were, I remember there was, was some Meadowbrook, dude. Right? And there's always some dude at like these rockabilly shows who has like the stars like right here with the swallows. And he's, uh, he's yeah. like, I'm looking to fuck somebody up tonight. And then he gets knocked out in the pit. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Chris, <laughs> what, what concerts have you not been to? Uh, huh? I don't know. I've been to a lot of shows. Who have you seen the most? Do you ever see Britney Spears? Uh, I've seen Lucero oh. 27 times now. Do you ever see Vanilla Ice? I have not. I have. have oh, wait, yeah. stop. Yeah, fucking A. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back, back with a brand new edition. Something that's holding me tightly. Flow, flow like, like a harpoon daily, daily and nightly. Will, will ever stop, yo? yo? I don't know. You don't have to light, yo, and I'll flow to the extreme. Like Man, I just threw up a little. Same show. MC Hammer opened up. How about that? I'm sorry. No, Oh, MC. No, I'm sorry. Vanilla Ice opened up. Yeah. Did you ever see that it's movie? It's late 80s, man. You ever see that movie, That's My Boy? 
No. It has Adam, oh, Adam Sandler. Yeah. Oh, that movie's great. Yeah, and Vanilla Ice is in it. And he keeps on calling. He's like, like yep, what's yep. up? Yeah, he's like, what's up, Vanilla Bean Latte? I have, a, <laughs> I have a friend who is Adam Sandler in that movie. He always has a beer in his hand, no matter what the fuck he's doing. No matter what, there's always a beer in his hand. What's that movie that had kids? You know what I can't stand about Adam Sandler? Uh, Just everything. Rob Schneider. <laughs> Rob Schneider. <laughs> He's always yeah. like fucking right there behind him. Oh, you you know you're not Rob wrong. Rob Schneider. Yeah. I, I never thought he's about terrible. That. You're right. Like, you ever see the South Park episode where they keep doing the? Yeah, the fucking Rob movie. Schneider is the stapler. Dude, speaking of <laughs> South Park, <laughs> 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 I'm surprised South Park hasn't been canceled yet. They rule, dude. No, dude, I love it. No, I I love every bit of it. But like, guys first of all, the first episode they should have been. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like their commentary. Or Jesus versus Santa Claus. You know what? Another good one is too with American Dad. Watch the crackhead episode, dude. That that's thing. just Ricky like, Spanish is get the best. Down, yeah. Get down, get down. I Ricky watch Spanish. that show all the like every night before I go to bed. I smoke a bowl and I watch like five episodes of American Dad. Dude, we, I didn't like American Dad for a long time. Then really? all of a sudden, Roger, he just fucking bit me one he day. Dude, Roger's like, the best. American Dad. I like love that why? fucking show. American Dad is the only show he's that's done that's you. gotten better with Ricky age. Spanish. Like it's really become something. You don't think family's got, Family Guy's gotten better? I think. Uh, Family, Family Guy, Guy was really good. It hasn't like, jumped the shark, man. There's no fucking way. I don't know. Like I only watch Family is, Guy is when there's American nothing American Dad else still? To watch. They still make it? Oh yeah, they still make it. I don't know. I don't know. So I actually I have know. American. American Dad but I like the Ricky Spanish when the blind guy is walking with his yeah. cane and he <laughs> smells it. He's like, it's Ricky Spanish. Did Get you, him. Did you see the one where Ricky Stan got his first Spanish. pubic hair? <laughs> did you see the when Stan got his first Steve? Oh Steve, not Stan. When Steve got his first pubic hair, like. I got a pubic hair and it's red. <laughs> and then at the end, of, then at the end, like Roger's having a birthday it party. Blows on his cake. Yeah, flies are like it's like one of those ending of a Christmas like, movies. Or it's something. just like flying around. No, it's like the right ending of Sixteen like, Candles is what they were parodying. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I get it. It's, so my uh, it was a pube. My light stepmom, rest piece of her, she convinced me to get a Roger. Sarah? Ta- yeah, Sarah, not Roger. Klaus. You have a Roger tattoo? No, Klaus yeah. no, he has a Klaus. Yeah, is that, I got it. Klaus is the fish. Yep, but uh. <laughs> We were watching a Klaus episode, and I'm like, "Oh, wait!" You said your stepmom talked you into getting that? Yeah, no, she called him a pussy. She's like, "You won't get a bitch." I'm like, oh. yes, like don't "Is be she a- really?" Yeah, dude, no, hundred percent. I'll show you a bitch, dude. Bitch. I, sent her, I sent her a picture of me with the girl I took to one of the military balls. She's like, "She's too hot for you." Hope you got the tap that yo was like, <laughs> and he did not. Damn, no, I didn't tap it. That's the worst part. No, she like uh, half Japanese. Sounds brutal, man. Too. No, Sarah was brutal as fuck. We were watching the <laughs> Klaus episode. And I'm like, I was just joking. I'm like, what if I got him tattooed on me? He's like, dude, you fucking pussy. I'm like, well, I have to know my dad tattooed. So I got tattooed drunk by my dad. <laughs> and now, I, Is it really I, shitty? No, it, it looks, looks good. good. No, it looks just like him. Richie. It's not bad. That's good. He looks all like. My re- favorite Klaus episode like resting is when he, fish face. <laughs> yeah. when he takes over the fucking corpse. Yeah. Goes back to skiing. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I, was, yeah, I was about yeah. to, bring, dude, I was about to bring up the skiing thing. Yeah, that's 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 fucking awesome. That was my first drunk tattoo. My second drunk tattoo Your was my smiley ass face. Tattoo. And uh, it's funny in Afghanistan, right? You have public showers, so people you get used to it. I see more dicks than I have but vaginas. Somebody's seen my uh, <laughs> PTSD with that one. Somebody, that's an EKG <laughs> fact, right? I there. just see dicks. I go to sleep, I see dicks. He so, really loves dicks. This guy named Sergeant Martin, big ass, scary dude from Texas, like. What's on your back? I'm picking him like, oh, it's Klaus from American Dad. And somebody shouts out, show him your ass tattoo. So I did. It's a fucking smiley face. My friend did. It looks like a bruise. It looks like a child. <laughs> so, <laughs> it does look like a bruise. It's a contusion, and, not a tattoo. It looks like a child did it with crayon, dude. That's how, that's how it felt too. Shelburne was like this. If it's, it's like, going to be on your ass, it should just be shitty, man. I had a friend and he wanted a Frankenstein tattooed on his ass. So, like, you know, back in high school, we'd get drunk. Like that? And yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was a stick and poke tattoo. Oh, didn't and you have to get an HIV test? Cause I did, but that's tattoo? another story. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. Yeah, anyway, so uh, he wants to. Did you Frank- get a second opinion? I, I get an STD check pretty regularly. He's well, like, is there I, a reason for that? I sleep around. I'm a hoe. No, oh. he, he had an HIV test for a stick and poke tattoo. I did, yeah. His doctor was like, dude, you need to get a test. But, uh, Fucking, so he wants a Frankenstein tattooed on him, but you know, he asked his drunk high school buddies, we're not going to tattoo a Frankenstein, we're going to tattoo a penis on his fucking ass. (laughs) So halfway through the penis, he has like a 
little halfway of a ball in like the beginning of the shaft. He's he he just randomly is like, let me see it. So he grabs a mirror. He fucking like this little 90 pound four foot eleven dude completely destroyed the garage that night. <laughs> fucking flipping shit. We're all laughing. Good times. So much. You'll have been really a, funny uh, if you like so there's like this big old fucking dick shaft, and they're like, okay, fine, we'll fucking put a Franken Frankenstein fucking head on the end of it. No, a Frankenstein <laughs> dick, dude. Yeah. On yeah, a dick head, you have the, the thing sticking the out the head. Yeah, got the fucking pegs. Yeah. <laughs> My buddy's got a Hank Hill uh, riding a propane tank tattoo down his ass. I always <laughs> wanted <laughs> on his ass. Yeah. I always wanted Hell to yeah. get like a uh, so rat what, coming out of my butt cheeks. We were just talking about that today. Rat? Yeah, like a mouse Damn coming out of my butt cheeks. No, it's a hamster. Because <laughs> there's a there's a surprise EKG coming up. Call out the Richard Gear. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite King of the Hill line is at six a.m. That boy already ate right. So uh, very quick the tattoo. So somebody saw my Klaus tattoo. They're like. That someone's like, show me your ass tattoo. I'm like, oh yeah, Shelburne did. He's like, you let Shelburne touch you with a tattoo. And I'm like, yeah, but this guy named Jeffrey Maloney comes out. He's like, hey, Lim Picky, you got a tattoo too? I got a tattoo on my ass too. It's called Badass. It says Bad on one cheek. Dude, that name it sounds like a Band of Brothers character. It takes up the whole fucking, his whole ass. Like, Colleen Caffeine hit me up a few minutes ago. Oh, right? how's she doing? And I asked her, uh, if she had a question for the band tonight. She said, who's that? I said, EKG. He said, oh, yeah, I love them. We got a fan. He said, ask them, what is the weirdest thing you've ever ground up and snorted? Oh, <laughs> oh it's not. We need to have her back. Hi, man. Colleen. So, no, Colleen's cool as shit. Uh, I love her, man. She's I've awesome. never done anything weird. I'll not be honest. I've done plenty of drugs up my nose. Like when I was getting out of the army, my medic. It could be in, in any out. orifice. Well, your butthole, of, your eyeball, your out ear. Of, out of all people. If you can snort drugs with your butthole. You're the king of the world. Champion. I, I've, I've, world champion. Richie, Have you heard Mine only blows. Asshole. I've never tried to inhale with my butthole. Richie, I've rubbed that. cocaine on a chick's butthole it's before. Called, I've done, Wait, what? Say that again. rubbed cocaine on a chick's butthole. It kind of numbs it up for anal sex. Yeah. I, I did cocaine I've, on a very uh, hot lady's ass before. I've snorted, but he saw <laughs> ass hair. I've snorted uh, mushroom powder and cocaine mixed together. That just hurt really bad. So my... Uh, was my, not a good idea. My ass cocaine, which sounds bad... Uh, this Wait, what? Your ass cocaine? What? This chick I know. It's all about music, I'm not going to say names. It is. I love it. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, could, like, I told her we were like close. I'm like, can I do coke off your ass? She's like, yeah, sure. I'm like, so I did that and I was about to do the line and I saw this hair sticking out of her asshole. I'm like, I got quiet because we we're talking. I'm like, one hair is going to fucking deter you from that? No, no it, it didn't deter. No, it didn't deter, hand. but I said this. I'm like, that was the icing on the cake. What are you was, talking about? I was talking about. He like, flossed his teeth with it. I was talking about, <laughs> like, about eight, to do eight. my line. I'm like, Oh yeah, like I've been waiting for this forever. And she's like, then I got quiet. I'm like, huh? And she's like, yes, I know. There's an asshole here. I'd, I'd call Fozzie. her Fozzy from now on. Do you fucking pluck yeah. it? <laughs> no. It, or the dragon from the like this gonna hurt. Like, Count to three, three, two, bah! Just pull it for one. Yo, so with, so, I, yo, I really hope she does not watch this. Honestly, so the, I nobody know. watches this shit, dude. No I one. I I've do. seen you guys have like a couple of videos <laughs> that do. have like a thousand plus hits on it. Yeah, so yeah, not gonna lie, we're actually kind of a big deal. <sighs> kind of, very big, deal. huge big deal. I didn't even so air my. I never interview. really done. I mean, we, we've had fun Keith here twice now, so I mean, we're huge in the Philippines. I mean, he is hard to get a hold. Big of. in Belgium. Shit, how many times did I've never snorted anything? Four weird, times, but when I was, <laughs> literally when I was in the army, and just out of respect for him, I'm not gonna say his name, but my doc, Fossey. my yes, him, <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Fossey. If you're watching this, make sure you ain't to tangled you. up there, bro. Yeah, again, <laughs> he is. How are you tangled up already? Hey, if Matthew Fossey has a YouTube channel, we're going to tag him. No, he doesn't. Well, but, we're going to tag him anyway. But, dude, he's my medic, right? Looking out for my well-being. He was going to a different station. I was getting out of the Army. He's married, so he had to close out his house, so he's living in my room. We're about to go to bars like, yo, a picky, come in your room. Like, yo, what's up? He had Adderall chopped up on the table. Like, <laughs> like oh, we're doing this? I was doing drugs. My medic used to sell coke in the barracks. Like, dude, you're the best doc ever. What's up? I know a guy who snorted gunpowder. Oh, no. That would Why be. would you do that? I don't know. That's a good question. He uh, was at a party. So much for boners for a week. And, I mean, well, I, no. So he said it made you want to fucking fight at the same. Like, he's like, I was like. Salt punching. Peter kills your boner. He it fucking, does. <laughs> it does. They put it in food and basic training. Yeah. So you can't get erections. Yep. Yo, so. With, <sighs> sorry to cut you off. No, you've been doing it all night. I'm used to it. You're a gaslighter. Okay, zip. Oh, God damn it. 
You bought that on yourself. I wasn't going to say I shit. Did. Since Jake's not here, let's just talk shit about him. Can't believe uh, how much yeah. he looks like Rick Husky. <laughs> He actually, does. he actually looks like a fucking buddy of mine, Barry, too. <laughs> no, not you, motherfucker. No, just your dick, dude. <laughs> I can't believe how much your dick looks like Barry. <laughs> <laughs> your dick looks like GGL and covered in blood and shit. Dude, that's all he was, was covered in blood and shit. So the guy from uh, Bleeding in, uh, in Your Conscious just texted me. He's like, hey, is there any way you can cut out our vocalist of that entire interview from last Sunday? Absolutely not. He's joking. <laughs> but I did ask him to ask you guys a question right now, so uh, hang on. You guys, uh, do, you guys know those guys by any chance? Or I'm sorry, what's maybe his name? by face. What, I know yeah. most people by face. What's his name? By name, uh, TJ. TJ, what? He looks like Charles Manson. Does he, he have? Is he a knuckle dragger? Does he have a disability? Oh no, that's a different guy. No, no, they're in a uh, uh, bleeding on your conscience. I've never heard of him. No, a knuckle dragger. <laughs> you know exactly no, what I'm talking yeah, about. That. Yeah, he looks like the guitar player. It looks like Charles Manson. He does. Yeah. Shout and the other guy looks like Randy, guys. Randy Quaid after his breakdown. Yes. Yeah. So my favorite. <laughs> I love Knuckle Dragger. That shout out to so Knuckle Dragger. So, so love you. Yo, Brian, I love, love that. Uh, focus, really people. We have a music question here. All right. Oh, what shit. tuning do you guys play? And if you say fucking E440, then we're just done. I don't even know what tuning Straight is. Drums. I play drop no, D, play bro. Shade. No, you don't. I, no, I don't. I play standard. <laughs> I, I play standard. Let Keith talk. Just E440. You don't know. You don't know, man. Yeah, we play standard. I yeah, play the foreskin. I, uh, I know music. I, I, I play not... the slobber blues on the skin flute. I just tune... <laughs> he plays the hand harmonica. <laughs> I just tune everything to the top. Straight. The hand harmonica. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I... we we play. I play standard. I played drop D before. Um, Back drop? when he had long hair and was in that phase. Yes, I did have <laughs> before it all fell out. Yes, no, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm, dude, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, I'm losing. Is that my a hair. touchy subject? Yes, it is. It, but uh, we're gonna do dude, it anyway. One it was I, a joke, man. No, I know the one thing I wait. Did ask not, him about uh, how from hairline. here you have majestic hair, man. <laughs> wait, ask him about it's how his hairline that, went from it's this. The headphones. To that. No, no, it is what it is. I accepted it. No, you uh, did not. That's a lie, dude. Like the one thing I was terrified of growing up. It's like I hope I'm never bald. I I got a bald spot on the back of my head. I'm losing See, dude, I, I started shaving my head at 15 thinking I was going to be bald. I'm not bald. I just have fucking gray hair. See, I, I, uh, old as fuck, man. That's funny because I'm not balding, but he is. I hoped I was never bald I got on all my a teeth. monkey's paw, <laughs> and now I'm turning into a Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, right. You're, you're the opposite of bald. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> literally turning into Sasquatch. It's pretty Tur great. Turning into, you mean you've been? He's cultivating. I mean, this... You ever thought about being a WWE wrestler? Yes. He's the I cream of the crop. Oh, yeah. I will come down on you in my bunny suits and I will hop you so he got into a world of pain. He got recognized. Uh, you almost like show. Macho Man that for a second. I'm oh. the cream of the crop. A rat to the top. <laughs> Never eat to pay because I pick as a cop. I'm about he, to get to the really, boiling point. He should have been a rapper. I'm really. about to get to the boiling point. Yo, Ma Macho Man's the greatest rapper of all time. Sorry. Oh, no, that rat is fucking. You ever see else. Macho Man talk when he's just like. Being normal, he's not still, coked he's out. Like he's still like brother. tense. He's like, like he's. My favorite out. thing is a guy like asking you, 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 do you ever think you and Hulk Hogan be friends again? He's like, <laughs> oh no, me and the Hulkster are into different things. <laughs> I like chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a side thing. I got a kind of a funny story. On our Cedar release show, me and Richie, we were smoking. Some, oh, that it was at the Voodoo <laughs> House. And my dad came through. He's like, "Hey, want to smoke?" We're like, "Yeah, sure." He gave him strong ass. And me and him were both smoke. We only hit it a couple your times. Your fucking dad blew your ass out. He did. What? Not the first time. <laughs> Not. Uh, but no. I didn't he, mean like that, man. God, no, <laughs> well, Ask he, him about how he lost he his did. virginity. God damn! This whole oh, no. this whole interview is going right to the gutter. He how taught, did you lose your virginity, no, Josh? He, no, he didn't do that. Have he you taught, ever been demonetized? He, <laughs> he taught me how to masturbate. What? You yeah. heard that right? <laughs> no. You heard that right? He says. <laughs> but what happened is like, hey, so, boy, you ever hear of a foreskin? You don't need that. So me and Richie went over with smoke. You rip it off. We only <laughs> took a couple hits of that thing. Like, you know, because I rubbed mine off. Wait, wait. Is this is this like for real? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So we're, okay. We're so like, how old? Wait. Are we, how old are we talking were you about that like foreskin thing or uh, 28? Yeah. Hot. So the, the weed oh, story. No, this, for, no, this is a recent. So we're at a, it's our Cedar Lee show. My first he's like, show hey, ever, by the way. He's like, you want to smoke? We're like, jerking off to. Right. <laughs> he's like, you want to smoke? We're like, yeah, sure. So me and him shared it and uh, with him. And then we got up on stage. We're all set up, right? We're about to start playing. And we're like, high as fuck. I'm like, dude. I'm Could fun. you even play? No, we did. We actually, yeah, we actually no, we had killed it. No, but okay, like, do you ever see a family guy where they thought they could play yeah, and they yeah. couldn't? <laughs> no, I actually think about that all the fucking time. Well, like, what happened? I went up to him. Like, I'm like, yo, dude, I'm high as shit. He's like, dude, I, we had a panic attack. 
And it, we didn't think, have a good show, kids. We didn't think <laughs> get up there and make your dad proud. <laughs> we, we didn't think anyone saw us. By the way, you're up, adopted. We had a like a little pep talk. <laughs> we had a pep welcome to the stage. We had a pep talk in front of everyone. We're sitting there like, we got this. We're all right. We're gonna use it to our advantage. Look, dude, no one saw that. Then I was telling the story. Mac Mayhem was like, dude, what was up with you and Richie doing that like little group huddle thing, and you gave each other a hug. I'm like, oh. Like, oh, you saw that. So I went up to my dad. I'm like, dude. Like, it's called docking, brother. <laughs> that's a different story. Dude, it's yeah. a great way to bother. No, don't say it like that. But uh, No, me and him were, like I said, we're. I, I went up to my dad. I'm like, dude, what the fuck was I? Yeah, I did that on purpose. Like, you're a dick. Then he gave me free mushrooms. It was awesome. Yeah. I didn't do anything that night. It was, I was. Oh. When he says free mushrooms, he's talking about the mushroom stamp right in the face. <laughs> oh, they were penis envies. So these dicks with you. So you have penis envy of dad? Yeah, I mean, no. I hear he's got a nice hog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. But, ring, you know. ring. Text him. <laughs> Text him. Yeah, I'll hey, ask him. Hey, Dad. Dad, can I have a dick pic? <laughs> <laughs> and, well, I want to show my friends. <laughs> dude, I wonder what he would say to that. Like, so are, they, like, are you okay? You know what? Dude, text just... him right now. Ask him for a dis- yo, yo, fucking wrong, dick pic. Wrong person, bro. So Dad's band covers up. They sing a song called Dad, Dad no. no. Oh, yeah, the and No Means No song. Every time we, uh, I see it, me and Josh go up screaming, I'm like, Dad, no. But have the, you guys, have, if have, you hear the song, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Did, that, did we already ask this question? Have you guys played shows with, with your dad's I band? have. I, I filled in for bass once with them. So my first, but, my first but has EKG yes, played. My, EKG. Fir- my first show. Yeah, we did. My first show ever. Yeah. We played with them. Yeah, he's like, it, I will allow it. We played. These are like, my sons. Yeah, These we, are my loins. We so he's played played a he was taking a shot. Them. That was before. He's taking me. a shot. And he's like, the fruits of my loins. Oh no, yeah, we have played a few. And we shows. actually have. I made uh, those. T- I made, see those two kids. I fucking made those. We actually have my ball sack. I'm sorry, that was before I was in the band. We actually have oh. another show coming up with them too on April 15th. We're no, doing no, a, that's Super Devil, not UDI. No, the April 15th. Our birthday. Let the people who talk what they're talking about. You're thinking of the third December. That's with Super Devil. He's talking about the April fifteenth. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. yeah, that's a birthday, birthday bash show. show. It's us, Unibomb, Fucked Raw, and UDI. You're born in April your at the Regal Beagle Beagle Beagle. because they gave us great barbecue. And He's I'm born to plug the shit. Is Jack around. Tripper bartending? I don't know who Jack Tripper yeah, is. Yeah, he did that joke. <laughs> Do you, have you ever seen Three's Company? Yes. Three's Company. The bar he worked at was called the Regal Beagle. Was it really? Yes. Oh, yes. I haven't seen that you know show the, since the I was re- a little kid. You know the Regal Beagle. Used 1979 to be a Nazi called. Biker bar. Yes. We a Nazi all know. Yeah, the Regal Beagle used to be a Nazi biker bar in a swingers club. Of imagine, course he has like, to bring that up. Yeah, so it used to be like a biker bar, and then they kicked them all out, and now it's like a punk spot. Imagine meth was smoked in that bar. So oh, kicked out all the cool people and just left you the wall and get a rush, right? They let all the nerds take over. All the cool kids are gone. Dude, I don't do meth. I'm a not. I'm a fucking nerd. Hey, my name's Tito. I smoke meth. <laughs> like, <laughs> my name's Tito, and I smoke meth. <laughs> you, you guys ever see that video? It's like those southern chicks. My name's this. I'm going to Texas State. My name's this. I'm going to Georgia. Woo! And, yeah, and this guy's like, my name's Doug. I'm going to rehab. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see the wild and woolly whites in West Virginia? Yeah, uh, yeah. fucking movies. I crazy. love that dude. He goes, "You want to hear a West Virginia mate and call?" He holds up a bottle of pills and goes. <laughs> 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 that then there was a movie before that too where they followed the fucking guy who is like the dancing hillbilly or some shit. Yeah, that's one of you? the brothers. Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, I said you're the dancing hillbilly. I'm the dancing hobbit. Yeah, yeah, you're Get right. Get a fucking straight. Okay, Frodo. Yeah. Hobbit, you're more of a. No, you're more of a... What Actually, you're more Frodo than games. anyone else. <laughs> you got the hair, dude. No Damn! no offense. <laughs> On a side thing. You got the no. beard to play a dwarf. No, he said you barely have the hair is what he said. I know I accepted it. At no, least I have not, all the teeth got to mad do it. At me. You know, if they hopped in that fucking bird and went right to fucking uh, Mordor, the movie would have been like fucking like 10 minutes long. Yeah, you could have ended that book right no, away. No, Lord of the Rings sniper rifle, bam, done. <laughs> sniper rifle? Yeah. <laughs> yo, you ever see that? And it's true. You I, say yo. No, no, he did. Yo, yeah, you ever yeah. see? Yo, I, yeah, yo, what's up, bro? He they said dope about my boy Frodo. They said dope a few times. That's dope. You ever ask, see the uh, asking the, about how mom says yo? <sighs> Our mom's like trying to be hip, and she's like, "Yo, pass me the weed, yo." I'm like, stop it. How old's your mom? Fifty. Uh, yeah, forty-nine. 
Yeah, she's old, dude. Yeah. Yeah, she's terribly old. Yeah. So, so how old are she's got the vagina I, of a sixty-year-old? I'm, I'm, I'm fifty. <laughs> My I was about to ask, you, how old are you guys? Yo, ding dong, ding dong. Yeah, what's that? Twenty-nine. I'm twenty-eight. No, you're, we're you're 20 29, right? Stop. Yeah, twenty-nine times. I'm talking to you. <laughs> times, yeah. Oh, sorry, you're fifteen. Oh, no, he likes. Don't know. Why so bald for fifteen? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's the second one that almost fell over. Hey, Josh, uh, lean like this. <laughs> oh my God. Male pattern baldness. Eh? Keith, are you okay? You got a barf. That's the third time, dude. Yeah, because he's sick and seeing your hairline. No, he like, is. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about his hairline? It's so, fun fact, I got recognized by my back hair at a he, show. He Someone had came up to me and said, are you Imagine the that. lead singer of EKG? Yeah, right. And I was like, yeah. He goes, I knew I recognized that back hair. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what you need to do for an album cover? <laughs> like, shave EKG in your back hair and then flex. <laughs> and then that'd be the album cover. That's, so, I will say the name. And then it gets all <laughs> distorted. That'd be, that'd be awesome, man. I love that. <laughs> so, that same show, I won't say the name of the band, but it rhymes with... Jay, no, 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 no shit talking. Don't do no, I'm that. just kidding. But uh, the band, dude, man up. No, who are you talking about? No, 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 no. Don't do that to me. That's my story, not yours, anyways. Yeah, it's a but, band called EKG. Yeah, but so so and so bullshit quoted band. Uh, they were playing, and somebody came up to Richie like, "What are you guys playing again?" The band was like, "Oh, we're playing that." And right when they said that, they're like. No, I'm asking him, not you guys. <laughs> yeah, I felt kind of bad for him because uh, it was they. They were like, "Oh yeah, we just play like your people." And I'm like, no, I want to know about this other band that's not even here. On a side note, on a kind of shout out thing, did you guys check out the uh, Killing Pixies kid or uh, Killing Fetus? Yeah, he, he's really hype on that. Yeah, shut up. What's well, a good yeah. song? It's no, it's a, a very good song. song. Is yeah. that the one with the skateboard? No, well, no, no. That's a uh, relapse, right? It was the one with the skateboard. Yeah, no yeah, relapse. Yeah, yeah. We made that. Uh, but with the, the Killing Fetus, dude, I remember they wrote that song because Larissa posted it. Yeah, she was uh, posting a lot about it. As she was writing it on uh, Instagram, she was like, kind of like... That was bad. It's a badass song. Oh, no, though. it's really fucking good. So funny, uh, Pixie's story. You guys had the Killing Pixie's here. Yes. So, uh, no. We're chilling. Joking. Like They had a show the same day we had one, but Larissa's dad showed up to our show. Mac Mayhem. Yeah, Mac Mayhem. He showed up to our show and was like, yeah, Lurus is pissed that I didn't show up, but I want to see you guys play. <laughs> like, oh, God, dude. Well, it happened. It happened two times because I played in Keepway for a bit. Yeah. Uh, and we were playing at Harpo's, and fucking Matt came. He was like, "Yeah, dude, I'm in the doghouse." Like, I was at that show. Oh, uh, you were... the freaking Strains played that night. Oh uh, yeah, and yeah. Buzz. Uh, it was Strains. It was Maggot. Busby Death. Yeah, Buzz, yeah. Uh, and I, someone else, I think. It's where they didn't fucking say hi to me. Yeah, you piece of shit. That's why I got. Well, to be fair, you look kind of rabid. Okay, so uh <laughs> EKG's done. <laughs> His favorite song is like, but no, with that, by the way, playing at Harpo's, I learned this because I've been to the shows there before. On stage, man, there's this weird sound delay. So I'd be looking at Tom because we're playing the same thing and it just sounded off. I'm like, dude, we're not playing the same thing. I looked over at his fingers like, okay, we're playing the same thing. But, but they sounded great live. It was like a second, it was like a second difference between it. It sounded like he was a second ahead of me. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Me and him were like, I didn't get that there. We did though. I don't know why. Maybe it's maybe it was because you suck. It's yeah. probably a lack of talent. It's probably yeah, no, exactly. Uh, that. It's probably an ex. <laughs> you can play it, man. It's probably no, an excess some, of liquor. Honestly, you're giving me some credit <laughs> saying like there is talent there. Oh well, no, maybe the liquor thing. Hey, wait. Let's talk about the, the <laughs> minimum. Okay. No. Well. Well. Back. No. Back. Uh, the fuck up. We're actually oh. do, fucking doing an interview here. All right. Right. So I actually fucking texted uh fucking uh Mac. Oh, fucking hey, asked hey. you guys a question, and he actually fucking came back with something. Of course, I'm not surprised. What's it like being a big brother and uh, oh, he's going deep. Kind of a mentor role with some of the young bands popping up, like Unibomb, Killing Pixies, and Sex Change out of uh, you know, uh, Ipsy. I'm not gonna lie. I'll say for this. me personally, it's sorry, it's very cool. Like when I was growing up and like listening to all this like punk rock growing up, I was like, dude, that'd be so cool to be in that position. But now it's like, cause I, we're not old, you know, we're we're relatively young. No, but we're old. We're in that. Well, I'm no, saying you're in, old in, in punk rock. Did you say you're 28? Yeah. You're not fucking old, dude. It's so, well, you. no, what I'm saying, no, that's not what I'm saying. Well, like, his hair says something show. different. Oh, okay, so. he's, he's just, at, he's like, fuck, you better hurry up. He's no, asking him well, so, question after fucking question. Well, it's like, because, like, they're like, you had the older version of punks, like my dad's band, or like negative approach, per se. Yeah. And then you had the newer guys, like Killing Pixies and uh, Rabbit and them. 
but we're kind of in that in between. Like we kind of appeal to the older guys. We and got the younger guys. Well, I honestly never I really thought of us as like a role model. No, for neither the did I. Crowd. Like it's kind of well. Apparently, uh, he I does. Mean, well, so like that's recently, not a bad thing though. Recently, no, a lot of. Cool. Uh, We've been getting a lot of support on the Instagram page and like shot up, like fucking follow the EKG Instagram page. It's fucking wild. It's actually shit. his Instagram page. Pretty much. I pretty much just use it as my own personal Is thing. And like, pooping? I don't know. Again? It's kind of like cool to think about like that we've like influenced some kids and stuff. And it's really nice that they like us. I, I guess I can't. E- I don't have an ego enough to say that. In a like, sense, it's I've weird. It's kind of weird. I'm a big it is brother. fucking weird. It's. I never thought I'd be, like I said. I get it, dude. I, like, I know what you're growing saying. Growing up, I never thought I'd be that guy. Because I'm in that, we're in that weird, like, spot between younger and old. Yeah, you're I fucking understand. 28, dude. Well, no, well, so, no, no. Come like, on, our, our fan base is the older fa- our generation and the younger generation. That's what I mean, is the young, so for me, the it's, fan uh, base. It's very weird. I just, this is my, I'm at about the year point for EKG for me. Because Rob died, and then he was playing drums. Shout out that. to Rob. I miss that dude every Shout day. Shout out to Rob. Is it okay to like 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 what happened to that uh, uh, gentleman? So um, he, I mean, is that, like if you, don't, you want to talk about, it, you don't have no, to. It's, no, it's, it's fine. all right. It so works. like he um, he used to do a lot of uh, heroin back in the day, and he had a big. And it yeah. turns out that uh, he had an infection. He was clean for like three oh. years. And actually, one of my favorite things about the guy is he'd never played the drums before he joined this band, and he just lied his way in and knew how to play the drums. I've done that. So, like, fucking, I love him. But, uh, yeah, he used to have a bad problem. He got an infection in his heart, and, like, it just it never got noticed. <clears throat> yeah. But he had, uh, he had some other health problems, too, like I'm not trying to put him on play. Was he yeah. pretty young? Or? Yeah, oh, yeah, he, he, was, no, he, he was, like, 32. Dude. Yeah, he was that like sucks, that. dude. He was a little younger than well, me. At but... first, when we heard the news, because I woke up, like I got a message from Ralph. He's like, "Dude, is this real about Rob?" We thought it was a drinking thing because he was in and out. Three of, hours. I'm not trying to go into that. Really... But, you know, I was worried about the drinking thing, but it turned out that wasn't it. So for me, uh, because before that, because I stopped playing drums when I was in the army, I got discharged for I fucked We're up my in shoulder. the army now. I tore my shoulder from there. To there. In the Navy. Tore my entire tendon. So I stopped playing drums for like a long, like after, be, even before that, I stopped playing drums. I couldn't. But, uh. What is that? Yeah, what is that noise? It's Sorry. fucking Matt keep asking fucking questions. <laughs> what else is he asking? But we're Dude, there's like seven of them. Like, I, just, we're not even going to get to that. We're not even <laughs> going to get to that. But we're chilling. We need uh, to wrap this up pretty soon. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he brought uh, carry on though. Don't have to leave, but I got like three hours of shit to edit here now. <laughs> <laughs> Make it four. No, uh, he brought up. He's like, you think you can play drums again? I'm like, I don't know, dude, because my like anything about this hurts. I'm like it's bad. But uh, then Rob passed, unfortunately, and I liked Rob. But uh, then this asshole, like they talked about it, not real with me around. They're like, well, Jake could play drums, or he used to. Let's find out. We're chill- my first time seeing him in like months. Richie's playing drums singing, fucking out of breath. He's like, Yeah, this asshole might be playing drums for us. I'm like, I'm like, fuck, dude. I said I might. I wasn't sure. I'm like, now I have to. Then I uh I did one practice with him and it sort of worked out. What is that? Yeah, I hear that too. It's like uh from when I fell on the mic table. What the fuck is that? There's something on the table. It's ghosts in your blood. Oh, it's the fucking ball. It was going from <laughs> side to side. <laughs> he, he's alive. So what's next on the horizon or what do you, what goals? Well, so, goals? Uh, yeah, so we're taking the uh, after the so we have December 3rd and then we have December 9th is our last show for the year. And then little shameless shout out December 7th. I'm doing an acoustic set. At the Regal Beagle. Shame and shot, um, then we're taking the winter off. We're going to record. I got a bunch of new songs that like I've been sitting on that are kind of like faster, a little bit thrashier that I've been like wanting to do. So we're going to come out hopefully with like six new songs. We'll see how we get there. And uh, then like we already got some stuff lined up where Larissa's other band, Lava, we are, are doing a show. We're trying to get a hold of the Voodoo House. I'm um, trying to get a band called Sex Change on there. They're then, great. You guys should check them out. Oh, yeah. Way. Sex Change is, again, like, they don't 
the fucking phenomenal. I love them. MC, right? Yeah, they're yes. like every so often I'll just see a band and I'll like fall in love with them. Like that happened with uh, Hell band. Gillies and UDI and Unibomb, and it happened with fucking. Okay, so uh, Sex Chains is like 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 what like what band of music? They're like so they do like Not a rudimentary more. peni cover. They're like thrash punk. They're I'm like faster, right. very like you know angry screaming vocals. And are there like, any like rock and roll bands in this fucking town anymore? The Strains. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, they they do it the best. I mean, there's like I always considered Buzzbees to be more like a rock and roll side of punk rock, and then you know like uh, what. Fucking Elvis Hitler just played a show and they're pretty like rock. They're coming here next uh, Sunday. Yeah, oh, I saw really? that. Yeah. Um, you know what's funny? Like, cause. God, I hope they fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting since like 1991 to fucking. Actually, went, no, we played with them a couple years ago, but like, I want to fucking. I want them fucking here. But yeah. Anyway, carry on. Sorry. No, you're fine. Like, yeah, I'm, we've I'm got, fanboying. We've got some. <laughs> I remember like the first time I heard them in like high school and I got like really into that fucking album. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's like their biggest one with uh, Live Fast, Die Young. On yeah. It. And then like I see. Um, Ten Wheels for Jesus. And yeah, <laughs> that's, that album's fucking amazing. It's fucking gr- God, I can't wait. I never thought I got to see no that offense. band live. I can't wait for these guys fucking come next week. Dude. Right, I don't blame you. They're no, they're, good they're as badass. Shit. I like I like Elvis. And that name, too, though. Perfect name. Yeah. I have so many questions for that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he do. <laughs> And he has no answers. I was like, uh, yes. The guy I was talking to that I booked them here uh, is the, the fucking drummer. Fucking Nuke hooked me up with him and shit. Yeah, Nuke knows uh, him. Yeah, apparently, like. I love Nuke. Dude, he's, oh, he's, uh, he's cool as fuck. His dude. album, Split Personalities, is one of my favorite. Like, Have you albums. listened to Clocking In, their fucking latest one? No. Dude, go on fucking YouTube or whatever uh, music platform you fucking use it's fucking gold dude you know nukes always done stuff that's a little bit more like he's he's very in the style of like social distortion like kind of like rock and roll punk too i would say but it's almost like like very misfit style yeah. like like, like well, old i think he's got a 50s vibe i mean he definitely does like he kind of pulls from all over the place like you hear some songs that remind me of fear and then i'll hear some songs that are very like social distortion and he's always doing like old country hank williams covers and stuff he sent me a song uh last night it's like midnight he's there's some guy playing stand-up bass in the background he's just like singing some all like <laughs> stray cat straight dude, um, it, dude no not even like even slower like willie nelson oh, shit. style oh, shit. No, shit. And i'm like like who the fuck is singing is that you He's speaking like, yeah, of, like somehow just fucking around with tonight. I'm like, that is fucking badass. Speaking ass, of dude. stand-up bases, I saw your coffin cat sticker over there. Where? Uh, somewhere. I saw a coffin cat thing somewhere over there. His hat over there. Your hat. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah, right here. <laughs> so I got a question for you guys. Oh, is it? No, it's, <laughs> it's sitting over there. So I got a question for all three of you. What? Music interests for you guys. I haven't peed yet. All you guys have weak bladders. Well, that's hot. Cool. No, music interests <laughs> for all three of you. Springsteen's a big. I, one I think name. we we all we all Born differ a lot. In the USA. Yeah. yeah, I'm more of a Sabbath. Fucking, uh, I really like Doom stuff. Okay, Mono Lord and Caius and shit like that. EKG. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. big in like, alt country. Fu Manchu. Too. You say alt country? Yeah. Oh, random music thing. Sorry what, to cut you what off. What the pixie say? Uh, what's their term for it? Dad rock. The alternative or some shit. I'm a huge fucking Pixies fan. No, they're not awesome. killing Pixies like the actual. Oh, the, no, the, the Pixies. Pixies, Pixies. The actual, no, the Black. Pixies are dope, but I love the Pixies. On a side thing too, music wise, have you heard that? It was from a. They did a horror movie as the Foo Fighters. That movie was awesome. I did not see that. Did you hear that? You actually see it on there? That's the Foo Fighters that. doing it. It doesn't yeah. sound anything like. I heard the, the soundtrack is like really freaking Dude, good, man. I, I heard it when I was in. Indi- yeah. Me and Keith actually were in Indiana. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Is it good? Fuck is yeah. It, is it like a short film or you know, is it like Dave Grohl gets possessed and kills the whole band? Is it no, like a shit. full movie though? Or <laughs> yeah, it's a full you know, length. Is it on Netflix? Is it on yeah? Like like where is this? Uh, I think I watched it on Netflix. I think no, it I is, watched it on the Fire what, Stick. I was gonna say I might have been on Netflix. I think it's an Amazon. Dude, thing that album was badass. So, I got it. Got you, played for like whoa, dude. Yes. Who is you music ever hear Dave Grohl's Probot album? Yeah, music interest, dude. I know it's. Social Distortion, Pixies, I mean, I no, Wu-Tang Clan. Ain't okay. nothing to fuck uh, with. 
No, Social D, that's an early I've been in- listening to a lot, a lot of fucking Ice Cube lately. <laughs> like, so, I listen to a lot of rap, man. So on uh, Wu-Tang Clan, did you see the thing about the army guy that sold the APC? An armored and personnel he, carrier. He no. Po- he posted right before he sold it. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. And he, sold <laughs> he stole an armored vehicle and he drove sold it through an, base. Uh, a 113. Like, a yeah, track like they know what a 113 is. Well, the audience might know. That's 113 in the afternoon, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Sure. <laughs> no, but he sold it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over this. But he sold this armored vehicle and went on a joyride with it, right? But the best part is right before he put on Instagram, Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. And then he did that shit. Well, he was right. He yeah. was right. <laughs> but no, All right. you, you need to listen to that Foo yeah. Fighters album. Yeah. Side things. Wrap this shit up, Dave. It's time to wrap it up. Yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks yeah. You guys, you guys have any, anything you want to plug coming up? Yeah, we want to shout out. Yeah, uh, well, that and shout out. Absolutely. Outs. Go ahead. The list. The list. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got a list of people to shout out. Oh, Jesus. Out That's a long list. Shout That's out. That's what my girlfriend said. <laughs> shout out to um, Dunkin' Donuts. My Lord and Savior. Shout out, shout out to Allah. We love you. Praise him. Must Islam. stop getting us canceled. Uh, Chris, from, like him. Chris from Unibom, like Mike Rat, Ralph. Be- here, I'll let you guys. I actually speak Ralph some Arabic. So. Okay. Yeah, Ralph is our manager. <laughs> Ralph Power Booking. So shout out to the, those guys. <laughs> Death and Cussie, Stack <laughs> Deck, Unibom, UDI, Last Call, Jonestown. Fuck Draw. We cannot. Fuck Draw. Fuck draws. No, I shit. love fuck draws. I love side, fuck draws. Don't forget side effects, though, dude. Those guys are an Eric. Let me read Steve the all paper that we wrote. Side out, shout out to Macaulay Culkin. Side effects. <laughs> uh, shout out to uh, Asterix people. Jerry Springer. Charlie Murphy. Ralph, Ed, Johnny, Alex, and Ollie. <laughs> Charlie Brown. Charlie Murphy. That's uh, Gussie. Shout, motherfuckers. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Infected with AIDS. No, I'm just kidding. With AIDS? Age. No, I mean, that's why I said age. Age. We are old. That's why I said. Shout to Mac. <laughs> yeah, Honestly, no, no, Mac, Mayhem, and Larissa. I love Mac, you guys. What's up, Mac? That being said, Mac, where have you been in the last few shows? Yeah, you're never. You're always like, I'm gonna be there, but you're not there. They have daddy issues. I do. No, Mac has daddy issues, and I'm daddy. Where Mac, are you at? Mac, Mac, daddy. <laughs> Mac, daddy. <laughs> Big Mac, daddy. <laughs> that's actually what I'm gonna start calling him from now on. It's Big Mac, daddy. And uh, where's my Mac sauce at, dude? <laughs> shout out, my rat. <laughs> yep. Shout out to uh, Father. Oh, Thank guys. you for not a Mac. Up. I hope you watch this. Thanks, I, thanks for not boarding us. Mac. <laughs> no, he did not know it. Is thanks for not dropping us off on the mattress. Where's hey, your Mac sauce? Hey, where's the nearest church? Let me drop you off. Dad, thanks for your aim. Thanks for teaching him. <laughs> no. Dad, thanks. Mom, thanks for, thanks for being a hoe. I say fuck you, Mom and Dad. I can't believe you got drunk thanks and made me have to there, come Mom. into this world. Thanks for you. teaching me how to masturbate. That was a very big deal in my life. Rock on. Again, that's a real story. <laughs> but maybe. No, true story. Josh, maybe. That's fucked no up. one will ever know. Shout out to the psycho girl that threw things at Keith and Richie. Shout out to uh You realize this is fucking not an award show, man. You're not gonna get, like a participation trophy for showing up here. Hey. <laughs> Shout out to Reggie from EKG. Thank you, Budweiser yeah. and Marlboro Reds, for uh making my <laughs> habit bad. Beer, drugs, fucking cocaine. For real though, hey, shout, Keith, out, you, Keith, shout out. Do you want to say that. anything? Drugs Fuck and cocaine. No. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to cheap prostitutes. Uh yeah. We love fucking hookers. Henry the Eighth. No, 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 oh no, 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 no. Strippers. Fucking Dentistry. For real, though. Shout out. <laughs> shout out. Yeah. Except me. But shout, shout out, out to Fick Fap. Look up Fick Fap. It'll destroy your life. <laughs> shout out to Casey Anthony. By the way, is she to a Casey male? Anthony. She was hot. Is I she a babysitter of the year? Wait, Not no. going to lie. No, <laughs> she's hot. No, no dude, she's smoking. I, okay. I would. I'd eat a mile of her shit to see where it came from. Okay, uh, question. I'd put one in her to kill. My oh last God. question. Oh, no. Is Casey Anthony a MILF or a hot woman? Yes. She's because- a she's a kilf. <laughs> I was about to say, because uh, she had a kid, hashtag had a kid, but got rid of it. So is she a MILF or a hot lady? No, she's a kilf. But I like a, that. She's a kilf. kilf. That's yeah. a new term you just dubbed right there. <laughs> Jippers, I'm putting a fucking C hey. next to that one. <laughs> Copyrighted. Hey, my name is uh Joshua Lumpicky. No, it's not. Don't say anything stupid, please. <laughs> you know him well, huh? 
<laughs> All right, we're out of here, man. <laughs> what was the question All you right. asked him earlier? So, like, how long have you twins known each yeah, other? Yeah, how long have you guys known yeah. each other? <laughs> Too long. How long have you guys been twins? <laughs> I don't know. Just recently. Yeah, <laughs> we it's just, just weird. Like, I got plastic surgery. I'm like, hey, who Reunited is and it feels so good. All right, get the All fuck right, out of the house. Get the fuck it. out. Fuck! Right. <laughs> I'm Dave, and he's Rich. And thanks for tuning in to the Detroit State of Mind podcast. Join us again next week for more shenanigans and probably a lot of fucking swear words. Good evening. Sleep tight. Don't let the fucking bed bugs bite. All that other good shit. The Detroit State of Mind podcast. 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 Fuck you. I wish they'd play my band. I doubt it. Uh, Fuck you!